Hello? Have I fixed it? Yeah. All right. We have sound again. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I think I know what might have happened there. Um, was a Windows update. Or it might have been the fact that Moon switched off my computer earlier. Because he's a bad baby. All good. Fantastic. Well, let's go from the beginning then. <laughs> it's good to be back. Um, it's felt like a while since I've streamed, even though it's been a few days. So I fixed the Good Springs crash. I I pinpointed the mod that was causing that problem and I've and I've disabled it for the time being. I've added new mods that will make uh, any new lives we have to start get fixed, which is good. Basically means that we won't spend ages sitting in Doc Doc Mitchell's office do, doing Rorschach tests and and listening to all this fluff because uh, we've done it all before. We know what we're doing. And I don't want to do the Sunny Springs. Is it Sunny Sunny Smiles? Sorry, her her tutorial. I don't want to do it again. I don't don't want to do it. Um. So let's just quickly go over the Yolo rules because why not? Right, rules. Once again, you only live once. Every time I die, I have to start again. Pretty simple. Back to Good Springs. Not necessarily. We're doing randomized now. Um, I need to update this. Hardcore mode is enabled. This is all known. We have got to we got to eat. We got to drink. We got to sleep. We got to fix our broken bones with doctor's bags or go to a doctor's office. Each new character makes us completely randomized. That means skills, perks, special allegiance, everything, including start location. The only thing we're not randomizing is the fact of whether or not we're allowed to kill and whether we're allowed to steal. Those two things are totally free. Uh, again, we modify quality of life purposes. And why don't we just bring that up now? Uh oh. Now where's the mod list? It's right there. I've got it open. So many, so many, so many bloody technical issues today, lads. I do apologise. This is abs this is this is unbelievable. No, mod list. Show me the. There we go. Right, so we do have some new mods in the mix. <coughs> so we've got tutorial killer. That just disables tutorial messages. Uh, those were a massive fucking pain in the ass on the second time we came back alive, I'll tell you that much. Especially when the fucking save broke. Because the fucking mod problem, we well, fixed it. Uh, alternative start. Does what it says in the tin, just means we start somewhere else. Courier stash and integration courier stash. What this means is that... Um, I'm probably not going to use it much, but it's kind of like a prerequisite for the alternate start mod, where basically it just means that I can give my character new items on a new save. Like courier stash items on a new save. But I don't know how much we're going to use those, to be completely honest with you. Um, it just all depends on whether or not we need a good weapon at the start. Like um, like a fist weapon would be good. Um, now, here's the over-under. Is this game going to fucking work with me now when I try and play it? Oh! Oh! It went not responding for a second there, but uh, we're good, I think. Yep, alright. Well, I don't think there's anything left to sort of do other than let's just get fucking stuck in. So, last session where we left off. As we were approaching Nipton, we are asked by Ghost to check it out because she saw smoke and it had gone silent. So let's find out what's going on. Shall we? <clears throat> oh, jeez. No, I, I don't need any of this. Thank you. Okay. And I've still got autosave turned off just for, you know, safety's sake. Oliver Swanick, voiced by Yuri Lowenthal, otherwise known as Yurisuke from Persona 4. Very good stuff. Are you feeling alright? Are you kidding me? Never felt better. <clears throat> yeah. What sort of lottery did you win? What lottery? The lottery. That's what lottery. Are you stupid? Only lottery that matters. <clears throat> oh, oh my god, smell that air! <laughs> uh-huh. Are you a powder ganger? Powder ganger? What? I mean, yeah, used to be, sure. 
But not no more. Powder Gang is small time, man. I'm a winner. I won the motherfucking lottery. <laughs> well, I don't think I have anything else to say. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this guy runs off and just gets attacked by rad scorpions. Hey, Danny. Good to see you. Yep. Yeah, he's running towards those rad scorpions. Uh, if I had a scoped weapon, I could look at that. But, uh, knives don't have scopes on them. Well, bye. <laughs> he's about to get fucking eaten up by rad scorpions. That's his business. He won the lottery. He can do what he wants. He's free now. Uh, but now we must find out what happened in Nipton. As we can see, it's a bad fucking scene. We do not have wild wasteland, so we don't get to see the little easter egg that this town has for us. But oh well. Hey. Oh, what the fuck? They're hostile immediately? <gasps> but I've not even Oh, fuck. But I've not even seen Caesar's Legion. Fuck off. Oh, no. Oh dear. Uh. Uh. What the fuck? How is this? This isn't how it's supposed to go. Not even a little bit. It's a bad start. Uh. I don't have stim packs. <laughs> Whoopsies. Well, I might be dead. This could be just GG, I think. Degenerate. Degenerate. Oh, and there's rat scorpions over there too. Can you guys fight each other, please? Oh my god. Oh, oh no. Why is why are they attacking? I'm gonna fucking die. No. Of course, I'm a fucking- I'm dressed like the NCR! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god, I completely forgot! Of course they'd attack! Oh my fucking god. Well? Shit! Is this how it's gonna be? Am I gonna have to fucking start a new save file every single time? Oh no! No 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 no! Not like this! Son of a bitch! I don't believe this. I completely fucking forgot, of course they're gonna attack if I'm wearing NCR clothes. Okay. Well, we're back here again. <laughs> At least I can christen this new notepad my girlfriend got me. It's very nice of me to do that. Look at this. It says, it says, worship coffee, the dark lord. It's very goth. It's very me. Um, and I do love coffee. All right. Well, I don't fucking believe this. Again, like again, we just did it again. All right. Reroll. All right. <clears throat> Ooh, now this is interesting. Let's have a looky loo. So, our special array is five, eight, three, 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 eight, and luck, ten. That's fucking horrible. Tag skills are science, lockpick, and sneak. That's pretty good. Traits, four eyes and heavy handed. Which is not really good for us. Pistols. That's not so bad. There's some good pistols in the game. Uh, companion is Veronica. And other companion is Rex. <clears throat> and we're with Caesar's Legion. Which I'm not fond of, to be honest. <sighs> okay. Okay. Fucking hell, man. I mean, I just, you know what I mean? It went so wrong so quickly. 
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Right. Let me just uh, get everything in order. <clears throat> How quickly can we have this fucking thing fall apart on us again? New game. Start a new game. No, that's fine. None of these. Right. This is that new game shit kicking in now. Nope. Oh shit, here we go. How about that, gang? That's pretty cool. Okay, there's a kitchen knife that I can't pick up. I don't have my inventory yet. Alright, let's do the Vigomatic. <clears throat> so it's five. Eight. Actually, I should just go to the end. Well, this is cool, because I get to see how this new mod works, which is nice. So, our perception is eight. Strength... No, sorry, endurance is three. Charisma is three. Intelligence is three. Agility is eight. And luck is ten. We have to hope, like fucking... We have to hope and pray we get some good crits, then. Computer over there looks mighty interesting. Now this is cool. This is nice. Name. It's Beef the Third. I, I need to fucking... Uh, I mean, it's just... I can't get any fucking luck, can I? Rest in peace, Beef Junior. Yes, already. Oh, God. Okay. Well, we know, we learned one thing as well. Don't wear faction clothes. Race? Uh, all right, let's do all this. So, we had a girl before, so it's a boy now. Uh, Caucasian next, I guess. Randomize head. Yes, please. Hairstyle. You can essentially buy any weapon you want with the caps you'll get from gambling. Oh, but I'm bad at gambling. Oh, you mean with luck? Of course, yeah. Luck affects my... Oh, shit. Of course it does. Well, that's interesting. That could be something. Uh, let's get bedraggled. Let's bedraggle ourselves. Facial hair. Oh, beatnik. Oh, gunslinger. Well, gunslinger means uh, wins you just win every time? Holy shit. That's amazing. Okay, well then. Guess I'm gonna, I don't have to learn how to play caravan either. Gunslinger seems appropriate, seeing as we're going for a pistol build now. Uh, is there a randomized color? No. Champagne. We will be a champagne, man. Is this what you want your character to be? Yarp. What about anything else? Disposition. Oh, this is, uh, nothing. Proficiencies. Tag skills. They are science, sneak, and lockpick. Eh, it's not amazing, is it? It's not fantastic. <sighs> I think it works best with blackjack. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Once we get to New Vegas, I'll fucking be all over that. Weapon preference. Pistols and, well... Again, what does this mean? Pistols, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Traits. Traits can only be selected one time. Yes, I know what I'm doing. It's four eyes and heavy handed. So four eyes is good. Because as long as we're always wearing glasses, we get plus one to perception. And you can find glasses just about everywhere, I think. So that's fine. Right. We've choose on our perception. Wealth? Start preference? I don't really want to change my wealth. Nah. We'll leave that alone. And then... Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh, no. No, no, no. That's quite alright. 
Oh, there we go. Right, have we got everything we need here? I think so. That's Boo Boo. You haven't selected at least one primary characteristic? Uh, wait, what? History. Oh. Well, I don't know what fucking difference that makes. History. Uh, Caesar's Legion. Scout. What would a pistol user use? Scout? Or just legionary? Let's just go legionary. You once part of a tribe that was incorporated in blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, now let, let's read all this. You once part of a tribe that was incorporated to Caesar's Legion. Now you are forced to fight his enemies. Your former life as a tribal has afforded you some knowledge of the land. Plus five to survival, and your training in the Legion has turned you into a true fighting force. Plus five guns. However, your training left you a little brainwashed, staying quiet or spewing Legion praise. Minus ten to speech. Other bonuses, in the Legion faction, their enemies are your enemies. That doesn't seem like a bonus, but okay. Right, I did it. You have not set up at least one of the secondary characteristics. Please make sure you did not want to set any of these before continuing. The next time you try to leave, you'll not be stopped. Well, no, nah, this is good. All right. Your weapon is in poor condition. We can do more damage if required. Right, where are we? I know where this is! This is that town! Where they killed all those Legion thugs. Oh, wow! Right, starting off with a laser pencil and boxing tape. Neither of which am I any good at. Great. I don't know if laser pistol counts, does it? Let me just double check. Nope, just guns. Fuck. Hey. Hi, besties. Leave him tied up. Oh, hang on. Let me just, uh, bonk. There we go. <clears throat> hey, Ave, true to Kaisar and all that shit. Hey, bestie. You may walk here, but do not head west along the road. Good advice. We got any guns <laughs> that I can borrow? Just a pistol? Dead Sea has erected a tribute to Kaisar, made of profligate corpses. Oh god. Well, this is an interesting way to start this playthrough. New mod is pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty... It's pretty fun to try that out. Take that for a little spin. Nelson, that's where we are. Right. Ooh, dandy boy apples. Sugar bombs! Wow! Well, uh, lots of cool shit here, actually. Instant mash, sugar bombs. Look at all this. This is great. What a good start. Dirty water. Don't mind if I do. Wine? Body? Oh, wow. This is fucking amazing. This is... Maybe I should have died. I should have died a long time ago. <clears throat> How about that? Now this is what I'm talking about. 10 millimeter rounds. Take them all. That's empty. <coughs> empty. Empty. Oh. Dark fusion cells. Well, that's not ex massively useful, but then that'll be okay. I think maybe the long term goal for this build is to get like a scoped revolver or something that can really put the hurt on folks from afar, make the most of my sneak. But, uh... My karma, taking a real licking already. <laughs> um, I'm sure it's fine. Listen, if I'm a little evil boy, that's fine. I'm fucking Caesar's Legion. Why do I care about my morality? Oh, hello. Morality's for the weak. We are Kaisar's Legion. No, you know what? 
I'll just have to use the pistol until I get something different. Whoa, do you see that? Ooh. That looks nice. Nelson Barracks. Well, there we go. There we go. Away. Why have you come to Nelson? I live here, bestie. Uh, what situation? My orders are to <clears throat> Nelson. So far, the enemy north of here has been too frightened to move against us. Why should it concern you? I'm literally a legionary, bro. Why haven't you attacked the enemy? I have attacked the enemy. I led the assault on Nelson with two Contabernia against twice our number. It is Kaisar's <clears throat> wish that we hold this position. Our mere presence this side of the Colorado humiliates and demoralizes the enemy. <laughs> You're demoralizing the enemy by leaving them alone? I do not question Kaisar's will. I do not second guess. I butchered this town. <clears throat> Those who weren't hacked limb from limb were forced to throw themselves from the cliffs. Three <laughs> more I have just crucified. All this in full view of the enemy's spotters to the north. Yes, our presence here demoralizes the enemy. How can I help break the stalemate? <clears throat> what is it is Kaisar's will that I hold this position. That I not advance. If you're so eager to see Camp Forlorn Hope fall, why don't you go attack it all by yourself? Well, <laughs> I'll be on my way. True to Kai. True to Kai saw indeed. Oh boy. Well, stealing from these thugs is going to be a little tricky. Oh, do you have a gun? No. What's that? Oh, it's the it's a cistern from the toilet. <laughs> Don't suppose they keep pistols in there, huh? Hidden, detected, detected, hidden. Rad X, dirty water. Oh, I'd love a pistol so I can play the game. God damn. True to Kaisar. Yeah, yeah, true to Kaisar. Love Kaisar. It's my big fave. I sure hope this isn't the fucking character I beat the game on. Like, I'm not hoping I die or anything. I am a little. Um. <clears throat> Hello? NCR trooper armor. That's nothing. Disgusting. Turlets. I need a pistola. Well, how's my money situation? 295. It could be worse. But no pistols. I need a trader. That's what I need. Uh. Okay. Well, we're in the middle of the fucking nowhere. Uh, what quests? They went that away. Right. Of course we start with that quest, but we're near Good Springs. Well, I suppose we should head east, right? That's where Kaisar's stuff is. <coughs> Caesar's. So I guess we'll go that way and see what we can find. Oh, man. Isn't that where all the fucking Deathclaws live? What is this starting position? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, we're in trouble. Let's just start wandering, I guess. That's what they do in this game, right? They call you the wanderer and stuff? Do I have any, like, map markers? Anything at all that can... No. No. <laughs> oh dear. Nothing. I got nothing, dude. Oh, fuck. I'm just a little legionary. Oh, man. All of my lonesome. <sighs> oh! Uh-oh. Well? Shit. <laughs> Is he on his own? 
Well, that, that's clearly not the way for me to go right now, is it? Listen, we're, we're, we're figuring out this game together. This is basically a new game at this point. So let's find out how it works. <clears throat> I really can't f fucking stand up to much right now. I'm only level one. I've only got my flimsy little blaster that's gonna fall apart in like five shots. Let's just take our time. Let's just do our best. Again, I'm pretty sure on the other side of that river is a bunch of death claws. Almost certain of that, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure on the other side of that river is the death claw nest and the oh baby super sledge. Which is a personal fave of mine. Back when I used to run melee builds on not hardcore mode, on not YOLO fucking runs. Hey besties. We kill only those who resist the will of Kaisar. The rest are kept as tribute. Beefs is playing? He sure is. Hey. The bodies of beggars and cowards fill Nelson's streets now. I don't like being Caesar's Legion. <laughs> oh well. We'll do our best. This is the hand we were dealt. We're gonna fucking play it. But as the rules stipulate, as soon as I find a, a small pistol, I'll switch to that. Well, I can see some landmarks. This is how you get the pronouns? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, oh shit. Hello? This seems like a place where I'm gonna get jumped. I don't like how open this is. Well, that's a Caesar's Legion outpost, I think. All right, let's just go up there, find out what's going on. Mugambare. This is Legion, right? Uh, is it? <gasps> no, it's not. I'm surrounded by NCR. That's Camp Forlorn Hope. That's like one of the biggest NCR outposts around. Okay. Fine. They don't seem hostile, which is weird. Can we just double check something? Stats, general, perks, general, step. Well, there you go. I'm accepted by the Caesar's Legion. Is that Helios? What is going on? I've, I'm still trying to get my bearings. I'm all over the shop. Well and truly. <clears throat> if, uh, maybe... Maybe I can try and get to the New Vegas Strip. That might be a good idea. I might need some different clothes though. Which would require me to kill someone. Oh fuck, Black Mountain. Of course, that's there, up there. And I'm pretty sure there's like rad scorpions and bugs of some kind around here. <clears throat> Let's get on the road. That might actually give us some sense of direction. Oh, hello. Prospector. Okay. Well, that's not a threat. You okay? The game's working fine. Hey. Hey there. Hey. El Dorado, huh? What's in here? Oh, it's empty. Oh no, empty sunset sarsaparillas. Gun cabinet. Well, there you go. There you go. 
Oh, hello, Bambi. Welcome to the show. It's nice to see you, darling. I hope you're well. Oh, she's only little. She's one molecule size. Sniff it. Oh, God, she did a good job. She sniffed it very good. Thank you, Bambi. She's so dazed and confused. She was just asleep. At least just picked her up and handed it to me. Hello. Stinky little baby. Oh. Yes, my little clout beasts. Okay. Uh, well, now we've got nine millimeter pistol. Now we're on. Now we're in good shape. Stop hitting the fucking tilde key. There we go. Gum drops. Don't mind if I do. Flower. More gum drops. Bottle caps. Oh, I, that was a star cap. Oh fuck, that dude's gonna be on my ass now. What's his face? The you know the guy. I can't remember his name. <clears throat> but he's gonna be upon me very shortly. All right. Oh, it's not great, is it? Can't fucking kill anything, can we? We're so weak. <sighs> okay. Well, let's start walking. Just the lone legionary and the wastes. Those are big ants. Fire ants. Fuck. Don't like giant bugs. Really don't. And that's Helios right there. And where's the strip? Oh god, you see the way things are like loading in? Oh shit. Well Novak's the place we can go. Let's go to Novak. Let's head to the Dinky Dino. That'll give us some decent early level quests to do. Vipers. Fuck. Typical. Yeah, that'll, that'll give us some direction. Uh-oh. Don't look at me for too long, bestie. I'm not here. No, yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm right here. Pet 16% is so bad. Okay. Oh. That was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> that was a bit quick. That was quick. Okay. <laughs> well... Unbelievable. No, not interested in that. What? What happened there? That's weird. Why was I stricken with... Is that why I died? Did I have all my stats like fucking turned down because of... Why am I dehydrated? All oh, right, yeah, we need to randomize, don't we? All right. Back to the fucking drawing board. Let's do a cheek. Oh, absolutely not. That's not viable. I'm not. I'm not doing a throne run. I'm sorry. I'm not good enough, as you can clearly see. Eh? Melee bladed again. With four. Well, them's the fucking breaks. Okay. Four, eight, six. Six, six, five, five. I was really looking forward to gambling with ten luck, but uh, I guess not. I guess it wasn't meant to be medicine and speech. These stats are fucking terrible. Loose cannon. Skills. Blades. House. Cass. And... Rex. <sighs> so bad. So fucking bad, dude. All over the fucking place. Unbelievably so. 
All right. Let's just let's just let's just get back to it. Right. Let's get to the end screen. I'm gonna keep doing this until we fucking get it right. So strength goes down to four. Oh, okay. So perception's eight, six, six, six. Five five. There we go. Computer look good. Okay. Name. Beef the fourth. Unbelievable. Race. Alright, so we're going to lady now, and it's gonna be Hispanic. Randomized head. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, she looks a bit like an alien, doesn't she? She's a bit all over the fucking place. Fairy tales! Fucking why not? Air color, it's fine as is. Are you sure you want this to be your character? I sure do. Disposition? Uh, nope. Proficiencies? Survival, medicine, and speech? Yep. Weapon preference is blades. Oh, okay, that's not really anything. Traits. Yep. Let's select the traits. Uh, loose cannon and skilled. Plus five points to every skill, but you suffer minus ten experience. Oh, that's fucking great. That's fantastic. Uh, what else? History. We're aligned with house. But is he here? Huh. Oh no, this is interesting. Uh, Korea, I guess. 10% faster though. That's pretty good. And wealth. And start preference. Not doing either of those. Yep. That's fine. Yeah. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Hardcore mode, yes. I'm actually gonna take a little toilet. <sighs> this is to be expected, yes. There we go. Right, I'm actually gonna take a little loo break. Um, cause... That monster energy is just flying through me. I'll see you in a sec. Uh, duh, duh.
Hello again, folks. Let's just make sure that's all coming through. Okay, fantastic. I'm fucking praying that we can live for a little bit. But I'm, I'm not I'm not exactly convinced that's gonna happen I'm afraid I think I'm just gonna keep doing a bad job like forever uh, laser rifle and rolling pin well rolling <laughs> both of these are terrible field hand outfit rawhide cowboy hat terrible everything's bad we're fucked six ways from Sunday cute cute look though Oh, she's fucking cute. I like this look. Right, where are we? Let's get our bearings. Also, I'm fucking super dehydrated, so let's sort that out quick. Dirty water. Glug, glug. Do I have sunset sarsaparilla? Sure do. Uh, H2O. Have I fixed that yet? Okay. Do I have anything else that can reduce water dehydration level? I mean, it's just, you know, what happened? Jake juice? That sounds suspect. Oh, I know where we are. Cool. Hey, Veronica. You're just here. Hey, Ronnie. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Darling, you don't know the fucking half of it. The grave. Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Well, welcome. <clears throat> I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. You live in a hole in the ground? Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. So you just leave your family in the bunker? Yeah, I'm not <clears> worried. <throat> they can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> So, listen, can I ask you something on the level? Go ahead. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? They're usually harmless unless you use advanced technology around them. An intelligence check. That's some experience. Well, that Ooh. shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. Hey, so, where are you headed anyway? Okay, so I got no experience for that. Never mind. I kind of just drift. Just wherever the wind takes you, huh? I like that. Keeps things interesting. I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across <clears throat> out here that looks like she can really handle herself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? I would love to, Roni, but unfortunately my companion on this playthrough is Cass, so... <clears throat> Where are you hoping to go? Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world. Looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. Right. Well, I'm not interested at the moment. Sorry. Suit yourself. I kind of wish change my right. Goodbye. Bye-bye-bye. Bye. <clears throat> Welcome to the 188 Slop and Shop. How can I help you? Oh, free sloppy? Bet. Let's go. Alright, so we need a blade. She does not have a blade. <laughs> Sell this piece of trash. Whoa, look at my money! Korea's do some Korea's got some fucking cash. Uh, I'll buy these. But I guess I'll buy these. And is there anything else I can get rid of? I mean, I've got- why do I have coffee mugs? And this, and that, and all this trash. It's just trash. It's bad. Not good for me. Uh, right, accept. <clears throat> Let's go. Thanks. Let's get going. Dead money has been loaded. Oh, fantastic. I love it when my level cap gets raised by five. It's amazing what passes for fire around here. Be better you? off throwing rocks. Who the fuck? Who's this? Who said that? Well, I would love a fucking good it's knife. Oh, gun runners. Hey, man. There's some reason I should be talking to you. Uh, let's see what you have for sale. Am I selling? Yeah. What the fuck? Am I selling to you? No. 
Sorry to hurt your feelings, but you're small time. Move along. You're a real piece of shit, and I'm bad at guns, so... Where can I buy some weapons? There's usually a gun merchant hanging around topside. I'm sure she'll take care of you. So you're a gun runner, huh? <laughs> like you have a clue what that even means. Uh, it's time for me to go. Later. It's for a firearm around here. Everyone is so mean to me. I'm just doing my best. Hey. Oh, hey, it's that kid who's got the psychic device on his head. Hello, ma'am. I hope you're doing fine today. I don't see what we have for sale. Oh. I don't sell things, ma'am. I sell thoughts. Oh god, okay. You sell thoughts? I can take off my mask <clears throat> and do some thinking. People say it's real interesting. I don't know, because I never hear it. Some people say that it's a gift. Other people say it's the kind of thinking anyone could do if they watched more than they talked. Right. I don't know which is true. I see a lot. I think a lot. There's a lot to hear through the 188, too. That maybe accounts for the thinking. What is your medicine? How do you take it off? This thing on my head is headache medicine. It works real good, except I can't think when it's on. Really think, I mean. <clears throat> you don't sell that junk behind you? That's not junk. That's other people's thoughts. People had to think to make them, and the thoughts got stuck inside. What the I fuck? need other people's thoughts to fill my head when I'm not thinking myself. Otherwise, it's kind of empty. Okay. Where are your parents, kid? Are you here all alone? I don't have a mama or papa anymore. I see them sometimes when I take off my medicine, but they can't stay. I'm pretty used to being on my own. Well, goodbye for now. Because I don't know what the fuck your deal is. Right. So let's just double check where we are in the world and... Huh. Vault 11. Well. Hmm. We're pretty close to the strip. You could go get a bladed weapon on the strip. No doubt about that. So let's just fucking hop to it. <clears throat> and we'll keep using this rifle until we get a bladed weapon. Which is surprisingly rare considering it's just a knife. But oh well. Okay. So yeah, that last life, a little bit of a non-starter. Uh... <laughs> Trapped it deep in Caesar's Legion territory with all sorts of baddies who can just rip you to pieces. It's fine. This time, it'll be good. This time, it'll be fine. Probably. Yeah, that's a... That looks like a merchant. That could be something. Also, I'm like fast, baby. Hey. Hey there. Need anything? If you got a knife. Let's see. Combat knife. Even better. Fantastic. Uh, what about anything else? Nope. Combat knife. I'll take it. Alright, you can have this fucking busted ass laser rifle then. You can have all the- Oh no. No, I want to keep those. Take these too. Okay. And... Weapon. Combat knife. Here we fucking go. Swish, 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 swish. All right, let's hack and slash our way to the waist to uh, to to the thingy jig, full at New Vegas, the strip. Let's do a good job. Man, that was a really fucking quick death. I I did not see that coming. Game's hard, but now with this cool new knife and the fact that we're not in like high level territory, we should be fine. Uh oh. I know where that is. That's a quest that we can't do right now. We don't really want to do, I should say. Also, we don't really want to be hanging around in that general direction, because that's where jackals and fiends and, and whatnot hang out. And... Well, that could cause problems for me personally, who doesn't have any armor. God, in fact, God, I just fucking realized I'm one bad shot away from just being fucking dead. So let's keep it moving. Uh, cause <laughs> yeah, if any thug with a decent rifle spots me, I'm just fucking dead. I'm 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 goo. I'm flattened. I'm gonna get turned into a fucking mist. <clears throat> Let's just keep walking. 
<clears throat> huh? Who's that? Fitz. Well, that looks like slavery going on there. Let's see what this is all about. Well, you got people's in cage there, Fitz. <clears throat> oh, they're not in cages. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, man. Welcome to the Grub and Gulf. What is this place? Just a little rest stop that me and my good friend Lupe set up. Last stop on your way into New Vegas. First stop on your way out. That's what I say. Okay, show me what you have for sure. sale. Anything else I can do for you? Trash. No. Be gone. <clears throat> what about you, Lupe? You need water? I got water. Ooh. Clean and fresh. Straight from Lake Mead. If you're low on caps, I've also <sighs> got slightly irradiated wasteland water. A little fallout never killed anybody. It killed me about three times already, but it's fine. Show me what you got for sale. Glad to do it. Knife fight some night kid? We can get there. We can totally do that. Eventually, I'm sure. Nice to see you, Ginger. Okay. Oh, I can totally afford all that. Fantastic. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Alright. Uh, let's get the fucking move on. This is all over the fucking place, man. I can't... Yeah. I just realised that if you're tuning in right now, you probably don't know what's happened because I'm still using a knife and I'm still a girly. But this is two lives down. <laughs> I should put a death counter on screen. Uh, that's maybe something we're going to work on after the stream today. I'll make a little death counter graphic and have that sitting on there so that people can see that. Ugh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Can't fucking catch a break. Hmm. You know, there is one upside to all this. Despite my myriad deaths... Uh, oh, NCR, fantastic. Is that I'm kind of, I'm experiencing new ways to, you know, play this game and, and seeing new things, new sights, new sounds, you know, all the rest of it. That's pretty cool, right? <clears throat> but yeah, Jay Sawyer mod is uh, making this game quite tough. <clears throat> Fuck. Oh, I thought it was a vert bird. Now what is now what is this? Aerotech. Aerotech office park. Well, let's investigate. We're not gonna get anywhere if we don't investigate. Where what is this place? Hi, besties. Let's talk. Oh shit, hey man. I love a ghoul. Welcome, sister. How can I help you? What's the deal with all these refugees that I haven't seen yet? <clears throat> Poor lost souls, most of them. They thought to come to New Vegas and find their fortunes on its shining strip. But the journey is often long, and the price to enter the city is steep. Those who could not pay ended up here. Hoping to earn the caps they need. Yeah. Some find honest labor, <clears throat> but more fritter away what little they've saved on crooked gambling and cheap liquor. Still, I minister to them as I can. Well, okay, what do you do here? <clears throat> I give what aid and comfort I can. I have medical knowledge thanks to my time with the followers. Uh, that's noble of you. I only do what I can to help. Hey, well, I don't need healing right now, but uh, I'll catch up with you, I guess. Hey, something I can help you with. Stri what exactly is this place? This here's where folks go when their luck runs out. Drifters up from the Republic, locals that can't turn a dime, drunken reprobates from all around. And if you don't have the caps to get onto the strip, odds are you'll end up here. Okay, sounds like a chaotic place. Is there any way I can help? Well, I am a little short-staffed. Maybe you could give me a hand. <clears throat> Some people have gone missing from the camp lately. I haven't seen any signs of violence or heard about any feuds. They just up and vanished. And I've also got Keith and his gambling to deal with. <clears throat> I know that skunk's cheating folk out of their savings. I just can't prove it. Right, one sec. 
getting dark in this room already. Right. What can you tell me about the missing people? They never seem to have much in common. That's why I didn't notice it sooner. Young folks, old folks, men, women, all disappearing. I remember a family with a little blonde girl. She never talked much, but she always carried this little stuffed teddy bear. Can you remember anything else? Seem to recall a lot of them did business with those scavengers over on the west side, Dermot <clears throat> and St. James. Tell me about this Keith. Keith's a two-bit hustler. He runs a gambling operation out of his shack. Ask me, he wins way too often to be playing fair. I suspect he's running drugs, too. I just can't prove it. Maybe you can find something. Talk to him, poke around his shack, something. Oh, cool. You know what would have been really good to deal with a, uh, a quest about chunky gambling? Is to have 10 luck. It's a shame we fucking died before we could even see this quest. Um, then again, we never would have seen it because uh, we were Kaisar's Legion. But I think... Even if you start Caesar's Legion, I think you could still go into different, like, areas. Right. Well, let's let's track these quests. Yeah? Oh, there we go. Alright, let's, let's track Keith's little fucking shack, shall we? Where is that? But I don't know where he is. Okay. Well, let's go to Westside then. We gotta get some quests. We gotta do something. We gotta get experience somehow. <clears throat> Maybe one day we'll get past level two. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I think so. I think it'd be really cool. So these are all the hydroponic farms outside of the Vegas Strip. This was a pretty nice start, actually. No trouble, no stress, just real fucking chill. I like it. And it's not good spring, so it doesn't take a calendar year to fucking do anything. Okay. More of these homies. Alright, well, let's head into... Uh, oh, oh, sorry, this isn't a gate. Oh, gates are on this corner? Okay. Let's get into west side, find out what we can about these coyotes. <clears throat> yeah, there's all your raiders over there. Cook, cook, and all those fucking little freaks. That's a real bad time if we get caught up in there. Right now... Happy Trails, Expedition Broadcast, that's, uh, who's that again? That's your fucking Honest Hearts, Joshua Graham. <clears throat> I survived because the fire inside burned brighter than the fire around me. Very good white girl quote. Where am I fucking going, man? I'm just walking here. <clears throat> don't, ooh, don't like that little rumble there that it plays. Oh yeah, Westside's not on the strip. Westside's the uh, shitty little fucking settlement uh, with mean son of a bitch. I'm remembering so much now. It's all coming back. Where are all the besties? <sighs> I still don't have any armor. Shit, I should have maybe looked for that while I was there, huh? Thorn, that's the arena, right? Also, one sec, sorry gang. I'm still a little gummed up. Um, On account of fucking some reason. Right. <clears throat> We've discovered the thorn. Can't go anywhere else. 
It's experience at something. You discovered several locations. You can fast travel now. Oh, let's fucking quick save. Howdy. That sweetie sure is something. West Side Militia. Cool. <clears throat> Wait, what? Oh. What's the one thing you do every single run? Hmm. Personally, I kill everyone in the energy weapon shop. I mean, yeah, fuck those guys. Fuck those guys for what they did to Cass. I got nothing you need. If it's ass you're looking for, talk to pretty Sarah. What do I always end up doing in every single run? That's a good question. Because I've played the game quite a few times now. I always end up taking Boone down to that um, little Caesars settlement down by the water. You know where you get the ferry across to the main camp? I always take Boone down there and he just start, we just start massacring fools. Um, I think that's totally within his right, to be honest. Boone's a good, Boone's a good lad. He deserves to do a little bit more. He deserves to mass, mass, he deserves to mass murder Caesar's Legion freaks instead of Great Khan's women and children for a change. What do you do around here, bud? Me and my partner St. James work salvage around Westside, that's all. Why is your partner called St. James? Because it's his name. <laughs> he may be high strong, but he's alright. Paul's his half a scrap, which is all I need. Goodbye. Yeah, beat it. Okay. Hello, St. James. When I talk to a girl, I start a conversation, and I didn't start no conversation with you. Uh, some people have gone missing, and they were last seen dealing with you. I don't know a thing about no missing refugees from that Aerotech camp. Go cry to somebody else. He's got a power glove. I don't, I don't care about that. Um, I didn't mention Aerotech. Yeah, well, I must have heard rumors. And, uh, <laughs> fuck you. You got nothing on me and Dermot. Yeah, he's got a power glove. I don't want to tangle with him. Right, well, let's go check out his apartment. Oh, hey, mean son of a bitch. What's a super mutant like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> I wash my bones with Sibbe. I have Pogo. Beeps are up. Goodbye. <laughs> mm, that guy could have used a bit more voice direction there. Hey, man. Welcome to Casa Madrid. Cheapest, cleanest whores in all New Vegas. If you want to know the rates for Poon, talk to the whores. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a great start to this run. Uh, is this apartment building yours? Yep, for years now. Guess I should be calling it Casa Marco or something. But I haven't changed the signs. Oh, I wish there was a mod here. Folks who can't pay their way onto the strip need a place to stay too. And when pretty Sarah set her whores up here, the Casa went full service. Alright, one sec. Fucking get the fuck out of here I'm trying to sell shit on my fucking stream, you motherfucker. Get the fuck. Uh, wait, how do you. Oh man, I never use mod stuff. Oh no, there it is. Ban! There we go. Oh, fuck that guy. Fuck those bots. Right, uh, I had questions about your tenants. Like who? Know anything about St. James? This guy's unstable. But he pays his rent, and Sweetie seems to like him all right. All right, well, bye. <sighs> Catch you later. Oh, this could be trouble if this goes south. But let's see. Oh, is there someone in here? Fucking better not. Atomic cocktail. I'll take that. I'll take a beer. I'll take a gecko. Fucking hell, Dermot's all right. He's living the high life. Gecko kebab. Nice. Dermot's ledger. Now what is this now? Miscellaneous? Right. Let's have a little read. Going to be a little different than the one I kept for hauling scrap, haha. -ha. But I've always been a strong believer in keeping straight books. To motor runner, teen girl, 500 caps. Adult man, 38, zero caps. True to his word, top money for the girl, plus bonus for the first delivery. But paid nothing for girl's father, who took a swing at him when untied. Got to keep him more secured. Also keep SJ off the girls as even fiends don't want used goods. To motor runner. Old, adult woman, 28. 250 caps. Old woman, 25 caps. Old man, 25 caps. Baby. Boy, 0 caps. Gotta be more careful when selecting what we deliver. Runner like the woman, of course, but the baby's worthless. Except to make sure the woman does as she's told. 
Her parents are next to worthless. Should have killed and left them. On the bright side, Runner says we can start dealing with fiends closer by so no more... Wait, what? With fiends closer by, so no more dragon folks all the way to Vault 3. To Nephi, teen girl, 400 caps. Teen boy, 150 caps. Child girl, 7, 50 caps. More like it. Learned from past and got rid of mom and dad along the way. Tried to get more for the young one. I said, hey, give her time to sprout. But Nephi wouldn't have it. Kept SJ off the girl so long as he got his damn teddy. He's a sick one, but I guess the work calls for it. Oh no. To cook, cook. Adult woman, 200 caps. Teen girl, 400 caps. Teen girl, 400 caps. Teen boy, 100 caps. I know cook, cook. Did not like dealing with this cook, cook. Didn't know if he'd pay us or burn us. I guess what they do with him once they got him is up to them. Isn't my business. But he didn't even wait for us to turn the corner before he was torturing the boy and making the women folk watch. Let's hope to deal with Nephi next time. Shit. Oh. Cook Cook's a fucking bastard. Saint James? Oh, I do not have a lockpick skill to get in there. Uh, there's a girl who likes him now. Maybe we can talk to her. If we can find her. <clears throat> oh, that sucks, dude. Anderson? Hello. Who the fuck are you? You have a pit boy! Tom Anderson, can I help you? What do you do here? I'm with the followers of the apocalypse, and I help the locals in Westside grow crops. Unlike the NCR, the followers don't expect anything back. The soil and the hot, dry environment <sighs> don't make it easy. But we get by all right. We've even got our own food store, the Westside Co-op, complete with basic refrigeration. I like the followers. The followers are pretty cool. Alright, well, goodbye for now, because uh, you've got nothing that I really need. Hey. Oh, Sarah? Welcome to the Casa. As long as you didn't come here to sell that scrawny ass of yours around here. I'm not hiring new girls. <laughs> All slots filled, you could say. And my arrangements with Marco are exclusive. You sure know how to make a girl feel welcome. Just needed to make the situation clear is all. <laughs> how can I help you? Right. Uh, you're not one of the merchandise? Most of my body is scarred all over, like a ghoul. Nobody around who'd want to screw that. No, I just run things. Alright, how'd you get burned so badly? We don't talk about that. Next topic. Okay. Alright, well, goodbye. Oh, fuck's sake. Where's this fucking whore that... Uh... Solge Pretty Sarah? Well, that's not the one, is it? Watch out for fiends. Jimmy? Oh, hell yeah! We all love a gilf, don't we? Watch out for fiends. Yeah, sure. Sweetie! Hey, honey. Looking <clears throat> for something softer than a man can give you? Oh, God. Does Saint James pay you for anything unusual? A client's got a right to privacy, so uh. it'll cost 200 caps for me to tell you all about Good thing I have. Oh, bought a 30? Nice. Uh, let's say 100 caps. Or you could earn zero, keeping your mouth shut. Funny how I make caps every time I open my mouth. She's talking about James sex. Problems, that's Do you sure. get it? Never wants me to say a thing or for me to move around either. Lately, he brings a teddy bear with him and props it on the bed like it's watching us. Ugh, it's creepy as hell. Not the worst I ever been with, oh. but more a pervert than most. Gross. Any chance you can help me to get into St. James's room? I do have his spare key, but <clears throat> I'm not sure if he'd like it if I let you in there. St. James can be a little crazy sometime. I'll pay you for the key. We can come to a deal. My price is firm, though. St. James is a good customer, and it better be worth it if I'm going to lose him. 250 caps. And here's your key. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> this is a good start. Fucking going uh, the career background and getting, like, 1,500 caps right off the bat is fucking great. All right. Oh, Saint James. Right, let's fucking inspect this freak's room. That's not Saint James's teddy bear. That's that little boy's teddy bear that he fucking got killed. God, that's so bad. Optional confront Dermot or Saint James with the evidence. That sounds like it'll get me killed. I could. Oh, there's sex noises. Fun! Um, okay, well, I'm out of here. I don't really want to confront St. James. Uh, or Dermot. 
I feel like they'll just kill me, to be honest. I'm still pretty weak. I should just wrap this quest up. Maybe we can... If I was stronger, or if I had better equipment, that'd be something I would maybe think about doing, but we're fucking... We're, we're just a little baby, man. Little baby girl. We can't do shit. We'll get ripped to pieces. Alright, show location. Oh, God. That's really fucking sad, though. Bunch of refugees being sold into what is essentially slavery. Well, or being oh, just sold to the fucking fiends as well. That's so bad. All right, purified water. Now get our dehydration level looking toy. All right, Parker. I got bad news. <laughs> All those thugs are probably dead. Hey. hey there. No, you're not. You're not Parker. Have you found out what happened to those missing refugees? Yeah. Found all the evidence you need from St. James and Dermot's rooms here. Let's see. Right there. Yes. This belonged to the little girl, so that's a direct connection to the missing people. And this ledger. I know these names. Nefi and Cook are major players with the fiends. Dermot and St. James must be working with them. Thank you for your help. I'll make sure those sick bastards get what's coming to them. Here, you've earned this. That sucks, dude. Oh, level up! All right. All right, let's get our skills. So, what have we got? What can we work with? Um, well, melee weapons is unfortunately our main thing, so we should probably bump that to like 25. And then, do I have anything that's sort of close to a threshold? Like, science is it? Okay, well that can go to 25, and that helps us a lot. And uh, let's get sneak. No. Probably don't need to bump survival, to be honest, because 43 is not bad. Like, for most of the game, 43 in survival is not bad. Uh, we could put speech to 40. That's the main thing that's sticking out to me right now. Yeah, let's do that. Continue. And uh, let's see. Black Widow's good. Chercher la femme is also pretty good. Intense training, get an extra special. That could be good for our strength, although maybe not right now. Oh, swift learner. It's got to be swift learner, isn't it? We can outdo the. We can sort of counteract the debuff from the skilled perk. That so we lose ten percent experience and then we get it back with swift learner. So that's pretty good. That's pretty. That's that's all right actually. Right, I'm gonna be right back again. I'm I'm desperately needing to piss again. I'm just a little piss boy. I'll see you in a bit. Hello again. Welcome back, me. 
Can I? There we go. Right. Fantastic. Let's, uh... Oh, for fuck's sake. It's fucking Tilda Key. Right, well... What can we do now? I think a good idea would be to try... And... Get into the... Get into... What you call it? Oh, what's the fucking... What's it called? The shitty little... The fucking... You know what I mean. Low side. It's low side, isn't it? Um... Because one of our companions we can get is Rex. So let's go fucking get Rex, right? Let's tick that box. Let's cross that T. Let's dot that I. And let's fucking, you know. Uh, we can also get a bunch of quests in low side that are like really fucking good for us at this low level. So, because right now we are so weak still. Like, I'm, I'm not even going to attempt to go up to like an Nephi and uh, Cook Cook and whatnot. Hey Morgan. Oh, you here to work? I think I have an extra shovel around here somewhere. I'll take some work. What's going on? Well, crops aren't doing so well. I'm thinking it might be something in the water. Not quite. The pump station is pretty run down. You could go take a look around the place, see if you find anything strange going on. What do you say? What do I say? I'll go check it hey, out. I should get back to work now. See you around. Hard luck blues. Well, there's a quest for us. Let's just fucking get it. Um, so I, I do know what's wrong with this pump, actually. It's not... There's nothing wrong with the water or what have you. But we'll find out shortly. Alright, so that's quick save as well, because... You know, scary. Oof. At least there's some locations around here we can sort of, uh... Maybe get some experience for as well. There you go. East Pump Station. Fantastic. Love that for me. Right. There's probably like some mole rats or rad roaches or something in here. So that's probably... That's good experience. Potato Krispies? Yes, please. Yum, 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 yum. Pump Station Terminal. Some sort of data corruption has made the user interface illegible. The damage doesn't seem to go any deeper than that since the pump station is still online. I'm playing again, first time I've tried the gender killer perks and they're awesome. Yeah, Fallout New Vegas, um, with the very, the very hot take that bisexuals deal more damage to everyone. Eyeglasses! There we go. Perception buffed. Let's just check our stats real quick. Special. Nine perception, baby. Excellent stuff. But yeah, the, uh, the Black Widow, uh, Confirmed Bachelor, all that stuff. They're all fucking great. Lady Killer and Chercher Les Femmes. Very good. Very good stuff. Okay, well, we know there's a problem with the pump. If we could maybe inspect the terminal, but our science is not good enough. Is there anything else to sort of check out? Ugh. Uh, 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 there we go. I don't know what the point with that was, to be honest. <clears throat> Hammer, scrap metal. Well, we can't look at the terminal, so what the fuck? Dead. That's not good. Uh, data, quests, hard luck blues. Investigate the east pump station. Well, I'm here, aren't I? Is there anything else I can look at? Yeah, I mean, not just the extra damage that you do, which is obviously good, but the extra speech stuff where you can just... I should actually get Black Widow because... Uh, having sex with Benny is always fun. Give your Charlies a shake for the Ben, man, won't you? Might make that the new going live notification. Nice Charlies. Give him a shake for the Ben, man, would you? <clears throat> Got the thruster parts for the rocket for free with a bit of flirting. I mean, there you go. Maybe that's how I should play this. Maybe that's how we're gonna stay alive, as we can suck and fuck our way across the wasteland. Um, it's very on brand too. You know what? 
yeah, I'm gonna pick up that perk the next time I get the next time I get an opportunity. Well, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in here, and I can't use the terminal. <clears throat> so let's just go. <laughs> let's just leave. Um. <clears throat> All right, let's try and get back into fucking uh, shit town again, I guess. <sighs> Look at that music kick in, that's nice. That's really nice. Oh god. I forgot how fucking big this wall is. It's gonna take me forever to get where I need to go. That's the grand, isn't it? I, I think. I don't fucking know anymore, mate. I don't know what I'm doing. Who's that? Isaac, huh? Oh, these are the gun runners, right? Yeah, gun runners. Hi, bestie. I don't handle buying and selling for the gun runners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. Okay. Any chance I can get a fucking Willy Wonka-esque tour of the Gunrunner factory? None whatsoever. <clears throat> Everything inside the fence is off limits, and the guards have strict orders to shoot to kill. A lot of our high-end weaponry comes from pre-war military schematics. If our competition got a hold of them, it'd be bad for business. Yeah, Natch. Okay. Well, bye. Oh. Hey, man. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? I'd love to have a look, yeah. I am ready to process our transaction. Okay. You're gun runners, so I'm guessing you don't have any wep- like... A chainsaw? <laughs> Hello. Ignores damage threshold and damage resistance, although it's very expensive. Gehenna? What the fuck? What's all this GRA shit? What does that mean? Two step goodbye? Oh man, that's fucking cool. Oh, Gunrunner's Arsenal. Right. <clears throat> Shows what I know. Okay. Well. Oh, wrong way. We'll figure it out eventually. We'll get where we need to go. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> there we go. Low side, I think. That's what it's called. Uh, let's head on in. And let's get these fucking quests wrapped up. Or get them picked up, I should say. Free side. It's not low side. I'm fucking stupid. Right. Probably going to get attacked by some junkies, but that's okay. Hey, Mick. Looking no, your name's Dixon. Man? Got what you need. Oh, you look like shit, buddy. The vascularity and the redness in the eyes. Oh, oh not me dehydration level. Oh, no. <clears throat> How's my weight capacity? Oh, we're good. We're still, we're still fine. Let's drink a beer. Uh, dirty water to even it out. Okay. Hey, man. I remember. Well, these guys are plain clothes, so they shouldn't be too much of an issue. And I'm level two. I'm pretty good. Hey. Check it out. Between the dumpsters there. You look like a high elf, dude. Oh, look, a body. I should really be going. What's your rush? <clears throat> Boys and I here want to get to know you better. Well, you're not going to get a fucking chance to do that, bestie. Slash. Slash. Oof. Exquisite stuff. Oh, let's back out, because... Oh, that's an interesting voice. Slash, slash, slash. Oh, this knife is, uh... It's pretty good. Oh, fucking hell. Look at his face. There's some really unfortunate faces in this game. 
Oh, let's uh, let's stim pack a little. <laughs> We're doing a little bit. We're taking a few dings. We're all right though. Disarm him. Nice. Then that other guy fucking ran off. Huh. A hat that makes me better at buying and selling. Don't mind if I do. <clears throat> Tire iron. That's something I can sell. Oh, what's the matter, bestie? Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought, motherfucker. Switchblade. Interesting. That's a... Uh... That's a weapon you can hide if you're going into, like, a casino, right? That's useful. Definitely useful. Whew. Okay. Good start. Hello, children. Breach for the sky, lady. Uh... You look tired. Maybe you should take a break. I don't really like to go to bed until it gets dark out. Give me that gun. Sorry, but... I need to shoot Stacy. We can find you another gun. Uh, I don't really need the Helios laser blaster thing because, again, I'd only really use it if I was an energy weapons build. I gotta obey the rules. And the rules say, knife. Would love some armor though. I'd love my damage threshold to not be like three. Apparel. Perception plus one? I don't really need that. Let's get the roving trader hat. Oh god, look at look at the fucking state of me. Actually no, that's kinda cute. Yeah, definitely. She's she's pretty cute. Hey kid. Stop by Mick and Ross for all your shopping needs, man. No, no, I don't think I will. Oh, but Rick and Ralph do have quests for me. Maybe I'll go check them out, but, uh... What's up? Oh, God, you look like shit, bestie. Okay. Let's go talk to the followers. Even though we can't recruit Ganon. Oh, you! Howdy. So, who are you? I've been around a while. Currently working for the followers as a gun for hire. But it's getting rather dull. Aside from protecting them from the occasional thug looking to intercept supply shipments, there isn't much to do around here. The one researcher I liked who I could chat up about liquor got transferred. And the rest of the docs are pretty uptight about my kind of fun. I bet you've seen a lot. I've been around long enough to <coughs> observe the patterns of human behavior. Physical and mental anguish are especially exciting to explore. Yeah. That's a bit cryptic, Beatrix. Hey, who doesn't enjoy a little pinch and squeal every once in a while? She's cute. Alright. Uh, I'll talk to you later when I need to recruit a cowboy uh, prostitute. Hi. If you're looking for medical help, try the other doctors. I'm just a <coughs> researcher. Not even a particularly good one. Uh, what do you research instead of providing medical assistance? Not all followers are people persons. Besides, someone needs to do research. I have no problem with Julie sticking me back here. Out of sight, out of mind. There are worse things one can be, though I do admit it is a bit boring. Though it has a noble goal, I don't think this research will yield much fruit. No pun intended. Uh, you can't come with me, Gannon, I'm sorry. You're not my companion. Shame that. Ganon's pretty good. Can't get Veronica either. We don't get any fucking. We can't queer it up. We're gonna just stick with Cass. Who's, she's okay. Nothing to snuff at, but. Nothing to sniff at, but, uh. Come to Mick and Ralph for all your. You know. Alright, let's go see the Kings. What's the King School of Impersonation is very good. Hey man. What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? For the king? Oh yeah. Who's the king? Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? Inside <laughs> <laughs> the king's rule. And the king rules the king. Got it? 
God, I forgot how fucking funny that was. The king. I'd like to see the king. Oh. Anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? Oh. Uh, here's 50 caps. You know what? I think you and the king have some business to discuss. I figured five is just going to be way Head too low. The king's the bored looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. Yep, he's got my dog. So I need to come see him. Hey, the king. Look, Rexy. Someone new's come to see us. Poor boy. He hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king. I'm the king. for you. Oh, ho, ho. Uh, I was hoping you might have some work, buddy. Maybe so. <clears throat> Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what. You do me a favor, and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? Oh, uh -huh. yeah. What do you need me to do? I'll start you off with something easy. <coughs> did you notice any bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? Sure did. I mean, I actually, I, I missed them, but yeah. It's good <laughs> money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him, play the part of an innocent tourist, and follow his lead. Right. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Uh, why can't your man look into this? I've tried, but he can smell a king a mile away. Probably knows all our faces by now. He's not a stupid man, I'll give him that. What I need is someone he won't recognize, which makes you perfect. So are you gonna take the job or what? I imagine he probably doesn't hire kings, not because he's smart, but because when they approach him for work, he's like, oh, I need a bodyguard. <laughs> and it probably doesn't fucking sound too genuine that they're not from around these parts. Um, why are you so interested in this? You may have noticed that some of those guards out there are kings too. I'm just looking out for my men. I'm not trying to get some kind of unfair advantage. I just want a level playing field for my boys. So, what do you say? Sure. Okay then. Once you part ways, you turn here. I look forward to hearing your report. <sighs> oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. Fantastic. Let's go get Oris then. Um, I'd actually like to go to What's Mick and Ralph's here? too, see if we can get a better. I need. I need I need armor, dude. I need to be able to take a hit and not die immediately. So people, we at Mick, Mick and Ralph's. Ralph's. Yeah. I'll go hit them up, see if they've got anything they can... Some leather armor, at least. Hey. So what's... Eh? Oh, shit. <laughs> hey. Right, disarm this thug. Disarm him. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There's going to be another one, isn't there? No? Well, okay. I'll take the sledgehammer, thank you. Ah. Ah, oh, here we fucking go. The air is worn off. Oh no, not like this. Oh, this fucking effect is so bad. Bonk. <laughs> Fucking die, bestie. What the fuck am I doing? Why am I not moving? Get back here. Right fucking now. There we go. There we go. No one can stand up to me. Beef the fourth. Alright, let's head in. Hello. Let's see what Mick and Ralph can offer us. Hey, Welcome man. Welcome to Mick and Ralph's. If you need guns, I'm your man. For general supplies and other services, see my partner Ralph. Okay, what do you got? What do you have for sale? Uh, let's have a look. Baseball bat, bladed gauntlet. Uh, I think that's technically an unarmed weapon, so that's no good for us. Boxing gloves, brass knuckles, embrace of the mantis. Pretty cool. Embrace of, embrace of the mantis king, a katana. Fuck. Are we? Is this gonna be the fucking? Devil May Cry Virgil run? Am I the storm that is approaching? Maybe. That could be good, actually.
Uh, let's have a look. I've not really got anything else that's worth selling, do I? It's a shame. I would love that katana. Little devil. That's a gun. No good. Nuka, Nuka breaker? Damn, there's some fucking good shit in GRA. That I just... Apparently have barely ever interacted with for some reason. Alright. Uh, Ripper HD chain. Ammo, which is useless to me. No armor, huh? Okay. Uh, accept. Pleasure doing business with you. How's business? Things were better when the Omertas were buying, but we did buy. Good selection from traders, and the Van Graffs keep things running. Right. What's the deal with the Omertas? That's the thing. I have <clears throat> no idea. They just stopped buying guns all of a sudden. Interesting. If you hear anything, let me know. Will do. Anything else I can help you with? Uh, do you have any special items? Why? You work for one of the casinos? No. In that case, <laughs> yes, I do. Follow me. Fantastic. I can't buy any of this uh, special stuff because I'm not that rich, but uh, it's good to have it available. Like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. <laughs> God, he's fucking great. Okay, now let's see if you have any armor. No. Fuck. Maybe I'll just... Do you reckon there's a mod to just put the Yamato in? I said I wouldn't play uh, with mods that would just break the game in the setting, but it would be funny, wouldn't it? It would just be funny, is the thing. Hey, Ralph. If you're looking for guns, talk to Mick. Otherwise, I've got a nice selection of general supply. Yeah, I need... I, I, I would like some armor, if you have it. Apparel. Uh... Eyeglasses, not really what I'm after. And jumpsuits, not really what I'm after, to be honest. Shit. God damn you, Ralph. What about work? You got any work? You got any other services? I only offer services if the king gives the okay. Right. Impress him and we can talk. Right. Okay. Uh, I know the king. If you haven't heard of the king, <clears throat> you must have been living under a rock or something. The king has his boys all over Freeside. He controls the water pump and is essentially the go-to guy for what goes around here. Right. Never mind. I do have other questions, though. Okay. Ask away. Uh... Goodbye. I thought you may have had work, but I guess not. Alright, well. I need armor and that katana, I guess. Why does no one have armor? Just give me armor. God damn. You know what I need to do is I need to go kill Oris because he's got metal armor, which is not exactly what I want, but it's better than, again, these fucking raggedy ass clothes I'm walking around with. Uh, it would certainly, be, you know, deflect bullets and whatnot. A damn sight better than these things. Oh god, did you see that pop in? Good grief. <laughs> oh, the modded experience. Wonderful stuff. Oh, hey, man. Gennaro. Hey. Oh. Uh -huh. If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. I bet. How much for your services, my good man? Two hundred caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the South Gate. Uh huh. Okay, I'll hire you. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. Right. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find <sighs> another customer. Natch. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. Okay. Oh, I hate this. Why do you walk slower than me, but not but faster than my run? You know what I mean. You get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever knew their services. Up ahead on the next block is where the kings hang out. Don't let them scare you. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Come on, Oris. Let's find out that you're a huge fraud. Down to the right <sighs> here is the fun part of town. You haven't seen Freeside till you've been to the Wrangler. Oh yeah, the Wrangler. There's another place I can check out. Thanks for the heads up, Oris. It's gonna be a shame to kill you. Hey, slow down. 
I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. Sure. Now that's weird. Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. Are you only fired three shots and there are four guys there? Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. Or you just faked this whole thing to drum up repeat business. That's an interesting theory you've got <clears> there. <throat> I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. You should give me all your money or I'll tell and stuff <laughs> after you. Stay close. <laughs> Pathetic. The thug appears dead, a victim of your recent fight. Uh, medicine 30 or higher required? Examine the body closely. A quick study of the body reveals that the thug is still alive and merely pretending to be dead. Uh oh. Yep, they're all so that none of these people are dead. They're just pretending. He's in on the fucking. They're all in on the grift. Oh, well, here we are. No worse for wear, are you? <sighs> I trust that if you need to cross Freeside again, you'll know who to hire. Yeah, bet. Right. <clears throat> and hey, you. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Why wouldn't I go past the greeter? Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. Thanks for the free advice. Who are you? The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. What's your story? Let's figure him out. I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Oh, bless you, old Ben. He's pretty cool. I actually like him. Uh, courier? I used to be a courier, and then I got shot in the head. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. Yeah. Uh, butcher? How did you get into that? My father ran a butcher shop here in town, but business went oh. downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. That sounds odd. You're telling me. Not long after my father's shop went under, and he passed away from the loss, people around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. It wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying, told you so. Cryer? What was that job? <clears throat> After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into mm. Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. What happened? Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. That's okay. Well, that's horrible. Yeah, but what can you do? I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options as my rep was destroyed. So the escort <laughs> job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. You said escort? Like armed guard? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole <sighs> different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. <laughs> oh, so you got paid for sex? Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just <laughs> felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. Gun for hire? When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. 
After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. Well, how about that? All right. Uh, bye. I like old Ben. He's a, he's a good he's a good fella. What the fuck? Oh, hey. <laughs> bye. Watch out. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Little overkill. But yeah, that's what happens if you fucking try and go in without a pass. It's fine. Right, well, let's go talk to the king, I guess. Tell him that your boy Oris is a massive fraud. Get some fucking experience on the go as well. That'd be good. See if we can get another level. <clears throat> The kings. Oh, oh, oh. Of course he's gone to bed. Fuck's sake. And I don't really want to wait. Because then that's going to put my dehydration and food meters up. So let's just go fucking find him in his bed, I guess. This is always so annoying having to do this. Oh, shit. Oh, hey. King groupie. Fun. What's up? <laughs> Wait, this is Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey man. What do you have for me? Oris is a fraud. He fakes attacks on his clients and then plays a the hero. So that's how it happens. Okay then. I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something. So maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while <laughs> resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, oh, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. Okay, well, uh, I'll head over right away. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. Okay. Wait, that's not the quest finished? Oh, man. Fuck. All right, let's keep it going. It'll all be worth it in the end. Probably. Oh, Lily Pat. Well, may have done some fooling. This is why I never fell. It's a good song. All jingling and jangling and whatnot. It's pretty chill. Pretty good song. I like it very much. They don't make them like they used to. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, what the fuck? Why is the music st Oh, shit! Oh, it's popping off. Okay, let's help out the kings. Oh, fuck. Hell yeah. Teamwork, baby. Oh, Jesus Christ. Very, very enthusiastic about killing those, uh, those freakazoids. Right. Huh. Energy resistance, fire resistance. Have we got anything? Let's just drink some dirty water. It's fine. I don't mind a little bit of rads. It's honestly not a big deal. Radiation's totally fine for you. Like, it's not even a big deal. Police baton? Why not? Okay. Let's go find out. Uh, let's go to the Mormon fort. Find out what happened to our, our friends there. I mean, I know what happened. Again, I've played this game a few times at least. Plasma, pistols, grenades. Ah, uh, yes. Silver Rush, the Van Graffs. Those pieces of shit. <clears throat> hey, James. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? Uh, you have any work that needs done? We've got the basics covered, but now you mention it, we have had unusual requests from some of our wealthier customers. Go on. We recruit escorts to match these customers' proclivities. I'd be willing to pay you finder's fees. What sort of proclivities are we talking about? Our wealthiest client has a thing for ghouls, 
And a thing for cowboys. He wants an escort who can satisfy both fetishes. Plenty of customers have said they'd be willing to pay <laughs> extra for a suave talker. Someone who can fake the boyfriend experience real good. And then there's these <laughs> disgusting robot fetishists you may have heard about. Well, those creeps want a sex bot. If you ever run across a sex bot, not that I'd ever want one within a hundred feet of me, but I gotta be a businessman about it. I fucking love James Garrett. I'll see if I run across any suitable candidates. Just direct them to the Wrangler. I'll pay you when they show up. Uh. Right. Well. Wang Dang Atomic Tango. This is a good quest. And we've already talked. We've already talked. We've already spoken to two of the recruits. So let's go talk to old Ben. He's the smooth talker we can talk to. Uh, he can sort of do the boyfriend experience for us. And that covers that base. Um. What's her fucking name again? 22 You let all the women make a fool of you Why don't you do it right? What was her fucking name again? Was it, it wasn't Beatrix, was it? I don't remember. Anyway, we met the ghoul cowboy. We met old Ben. Now we need to go and find a fist- Well, uh, hello? Oh, hey. <laughs> Give me a sec. I'll, I'll deal with this. Sorry about that, Ben. I got this covered, don't worry. Oh, he's got Nux. Oh, he disabled my head! Do I have a doctor's bag? No, I know. Fucking condition. Doctor's bag. Bink. There we go. Totally fine. Not an issue. Uh, we'll pop this stim pack as well. Why not? Spike Nux. There we go. Can't go anywhere in Freeside. Right, uh, you want to work for the Garretts? I'm retired, but life has been a bit dull without some kind of action. What's the job? James Garrett needs a real boyfriend experience for more discerning patrons. Ah, <laughs> I get you. So you think because of my past escort work, I'd be interested in that kind of thing. I got out of that work because it just made me feel empty inside. What makes you think I would ever go back to that degradation? Uh, money? Oh, come on! The pay would be great! <laughs> Pay is good, and you can make your own hours. Sorry, friend, but I just can't do it. Ah, uh, well. We tried. Uh, well, shoot! No skill check for me. <clears throat> I can try again later, though. Quest. Yeah. Oh, I've got other options? Interesting. Interesting. Who's this other smooth talker then? I don't know. I guess we'll find out, won't we? Oh. Where's it? Oh god, okay. That's a king. That's not really any of my concern. Where the fuck? What the... Oh, wait. I think I know where. I think I know. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. I don't know what this fucking thing is. I guess we'll find out. God, Freeside is such a shithole. No, it's not this door. Gotta keep going. We'll find it eventually. We'll find what we're looking for. Oh, this is the... Okay. Cerulean Robotics. Oh, there's enemies here. It's 
Sounds like bugs. Can't quite tell. Let's do a quick save. Oh, that's shut off. Never mind. Oh, it's rats. Hey, nice. Oh, he's looking right at me. These rats are not very, like, perceptive. Slash. <laughs> I think you can get diseases off these rats, can't you? That would be unfortunate. Boo. And I'm also getting shivers because I don't like bigger, big fucking bastard rats. Star bottle cap. Nice. That's our first one. Which means we are now being stalked across the earth by that freakazoid who loves those bottle caps. Slash. Oh, well, I didn't kill him. Just disable him. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm going to turn that fucking mess off. I hate that. Always gives me the fucking... Always gives me a fright when that happens. Slash. Cripples your giant rat head. There we go. Ah, okay. Steam gauge assembly. Bottle Cap Man. Yeah, that's the guy. My name is Bottle Cap Man. Fucking get it up here. What the fuck? Beep, 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 beep. You hearing that fucking like Morse code shit? Slash. Alright. Uh, is there more enemies? Huh. We'll take that. Absolutely. That has a value of 75. Absolutely take that. Oh, fuck. No. I can't do it. This sucks. Sensor module, blah blah blah, paint gun. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I'm so bad at everything. What the hell? <clears throat> I'm still just a baby. I can't do anything good. There's gotta be like a password around here somewhere. Maybe. Maybe you'll sit and smile. Is it in one of these desks? Probably not. We can have a look. And if not, man, I really thought we'd be able to get that quest sort of wrapped up quick as you like, but uh, I guess not. It's a shame, isn't it? Crying shame. Okay, well, this is nothing. Let me just double check. Is there a filing cabinet? Yeah. Oh, a bottle cap. That's that's one whole bottle cap's worth of bottle cap. Let's go. And I don't have wild wasteland, so I'm not going to get attacked by the fucking golden girls here either. Hunger level. That's a first. Right, what have we got? Barrel cactus fruit? Only nine. Brahmin steak? There you go. I love the ambient sound effects. It's really nice. Like the sounds of chattering in the distance. Or the sounds of fucking in that brothel. That was really good. Never noticed that before. This is a good video game. I like it. I'm going to go ahead and say this is one of the good ones they made. Video games, that is. Caution. Why? Who's trying to beef with me? Unbelievable. Oh, always someone trying to fucking... Some motherfuckers always trying to ice skate uphill. With me, that is. Beef the fourth. I'll fucking cut them apart. Right, let's go find the cowboy girl. I'm pretty sure we can get her. Maybe. It would be nice, wouldn't it? Just to get that squared away. And we are going to the old Mormon fort anyway, so... Oh, buddy. Oh, right, yeah, you're not hostile. You're that kid's little pet. I think that fucking rat respawns, actually. I think you can kill it, and it's not a big deal. 
Oh, they probably shouldn't. All right. Hey. All right. Is it Beatrix? Yeah. Howdy. Howdy, howdy. Interested in working for the Garrets? They already have that pig McCaffrey working for them. Do they need another guard? Not quite. This would be as an escort. Uh, I've escorted my share of idiot tourists around Freeside. Too much trouble for what it pays. Uh, not quite. I meant prostitute. I'm all boot knives and leather, friend. And a ghoul besides. What kind of weirdo wants what I've got? Uh, turns out that our customer's looking for someone just like you. And you do like a bit of the old pinch and squeal there, Beatrix. I remember. Weirdos into bullwhips and necrosis, huh? Doesn't sound half bad. What am I thinking? I'm no whore. And I ain't about to hand my ass over to <clears throat> some penny ante hustler like he owns me. <laughs> uh, you'd be an independent with a deep discount on the booze, maybe? Uh, let's do that. That seems like a more a better way to respect her. Mm. They do have a damn good selection of hooch over at the Wrangler. If I get to choose my customers... If I get to be a little rough with them, if my cut is fair, and if I get that discount, that just might work. Okay. Tell the Garrets I'll stop by to work out terms. Fantastic. Till next time. Hell yeah, buddy. Oh, you won't believe this, gang. I need to fucking piss again. <laughs> it's, it's, it's too much juice on this boy. Um, oh, God. I'll try not to be too long. I'll see you in a little bit. Hello. Little piss boy return. I really don't like how the fucking game window doesn't show up in OBS after a little bit. It's quite fucking irritating to me, actually. Uh, but there's nothing you can really do about it, unfortunately. Right. Hi. Old woman. Oh, wait a second. We're here for another reason, aren't we? We're not just here to get the BDSM goal. As great as that is. Hello. All right, Roy. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? No. The king asked me to look into this. Oh, that's different then. Yeah. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Well? 
Well, can you tell me about the attack? Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanted to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. Do you remember anything about the people who attacked you? They were big guys, young too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. All right, well, I've got to get going. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about them. He saw more than I did. Yeah, so tensions are bad here. King sent yeah, the king Hello. sent me. That true? Did the king really send you? He did. And anything you can tell me about what happened might help. I don't really know what else I can add. They were a bunch of guys. Better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? You're not hiding something from me, are you? What? No. I thought you were supposed to be here to help, and here you are making accusations. Just fucking tell hey, me wait. what you know. I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. Now that I think of it, he said Lou something. Something <laughs> with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him. Lou Tenant. He probably said Lieutenant Wayne. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. <laughs> My fucking reputation in, uh, in Freeside went down. Sad to say. Um, where do you see reputation? I can't remember. Where does that show up? Is that data? Miscellaneous? Radi it's not radio. Where's your reputation show up? I, f I completely fucking forget where that is. Oh, there we go. Reputation. Oh, well, apparently I don't have any reputation here, even though it just went down. Okay, never fucking mind. So... Your boys got uh, into an altercation with a lieutenant, which means they're probably NCR troops. Uh, who are out on a bit of a lush. Should be under general. Weird. Maybe, yeah, mods. Mods must have broken it, eh? Not a big deal. That is. That, that, that is a big deal, I'd say. When the game um, crashes like that. Let's see what we lost. All things considered, that ran pretty well for a while without crashing. Oh, good grief. Where we're. Oh! Alright, fine. Jesus Christ. Well, there's not much here, but I'll kill these fucking rats. Not doing all the fucking stealth again. Let's just kill them. Huh, that rat got frenzied. That's pretty fun. I love frenzying a little rat. Slash, slash, slash. God, what a fucking joke. I fucking... Ah. Oh. I love Fallout New Vegas, but it does not love me. Alright, well, we can't do shit. Oh, hello. Slash. <clears throat> and yeah, still can't do anything with that. That's fine. And that's... that's nothing. Okay, cool. Uh, F5, it runs like ass on Windows 10 and modern hardware for some reason. Yeah. I might try, uh... Because I don't know what. Installed NVSE and tick fix, but they introduced crashes and weird physics bugs. Interesting. Yeah, I have both of those as well. I, I don't fucking know, man. Honestly, at this point, it's whatever. 
I mean, it's not, because I'm streaming it, right? So I would like it to ideally just do the bare minimum and run, but, uh, oh well. I love this fucking game, though. It just doesn't want to play ball. I might try and uh, get Fallout Mod Manager instead of Vortex, because apparently that does help, but I don't know how much stock to put in that, to be honest. Went to the Sheriff's Shack and Prim, and the bodies were absolutely bounced off the walls. Yeah, no, that happened to me as well. When we went to Prim in a previous save. Yeah. <laughs> that's fun, though. That's just, that's just fun. That's just quirky and fun. That's, that's a, that's a sheriff of, of Prim for you. Always doing such wacky fun stuff. Alright. Listen, we got a lot of stuff to cover real quick, so let's just get this over and done with. Yep, yep, turns out customers want to fuck you, it's really cool. Uh, go get shit-faced and bye. Okay. And... Where are the old fella? What is it? I'm sorry, I've got to do this really quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Tell me about the attack. Kid got the worst of it. Know anything else about it? I have to get going. Right. Wayne, it's okay. The king sent him. King sent him. Look, it's me. Is that true? Did the king, king really did send me. Yep, he did. Anything you can tell me? Every bit helps. Sorry. Uh, lieutenant, you're you fucking dumb dumb. Let's go. Right. Well, that's not so bad. That didn't take us too long to get back up to date. That's not. That's not so bad. That's fine. To be honest. <clears throat> I have a feeling that maybe the other thing that's causing a little bit of an issue is the retexturing stuff I've got installed. Um, I have a feeling that might pose an issue or two. Health is low. Wait, I knew that. Um, just because of fucking corset does, doesn't it? You know. I mean, looking at the way things are literally fucking bouncing into reality. What's this? Oh, storeroom. Not really any interest in me. But yeah, Fallout New Vegas, famously not particularly stable in the first place. I guess this is just how it's going to be for a while. Um, as long as we just keep quick saving, we do a good job, should be fine. You know? Hey, King. Have you found anything out, or were you just here to chat? Oh, uh -huh. local men were attacked by soldiers. One of the men was identified by rank. Bunch of soldier boys, huh? They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's got to be for a reason. <clears throat> I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over. If something oh, big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. All right. Well, more investigating. Here we go. Squatter camps in Freeside. Learn why NCR soldiers have been entering the area and talk to Julie Farkas. See if the followers know anything about the situation. Well, we need to get content, so let's go and talk to Julie Farkas first. <clears throat> to be honest, I do feel like the game fucking shitting itself and crashing every few minutes. It's pretty authentic to the Fallout New Vegas experience, so I guess in a way it does make for good streaming, huh? What is this? Huh. At least it's not as bad as when I played it on the 360 when I was a fucking kid. And just watching rad roaches hand st not rad roaches, rad scorpions fucking walk on me on their pincers. That was fucking horrific, actually. If there's one thing that makes bugs in video games worse, and by bugs I mean insects, it's those insects having bugs. If it can be bought, it can Boy, that's a sentence I can just string together, huh? You can just do whatever you want with words. You can put them in any order you feel like. It's pretty great. Always having fun with words on twitch.tv forward slash sweetbeef underscore. It's always a good time. Right, Yuli. Let's have words, bestie. Where's her? Oh, you're upstairs. My health is low. I knew that. God damn. Oh, don't, don't go to sleep. Wake up. Oh, yeah, I love Julie. She's so fucking cool. 
Are you here to drop off medical supplies? Leave them with the rest in the middle of the courtyard. What a sick look. The fucking mohawk doctor. Hey, so, uh, shit seems rough in Freeside. More than rough. It's a dirty <clears throat> mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Freeside is in dire need, but no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. Yeah. Is there anything I can do to help? There is always something needing done. A few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community if they'd kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many caps for what we need. Lastly, tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will get hurt if things blow up. Yeah. Um... You said something about helping addicts. Yes. Old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. I see. Tell me about Bill Ronte. Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump, if he sobered up. <laughs> Tell me about Jacob. The Garretts hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural chemist. Okay. Where should I start looking? In Freeside, the drunks and drug addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. I'd start there. Makes sense. I'll see what I can do to help. Sobering them up and putting them back to work would go a long way toward helping Freeside. I'd like to talk about something else, What though. do you want to talk uh, medical supplies, I'm pretty sure that's just an ongoing thing where you can just show up and give her meds for like an increased uh, sale price. Then we can unlock it. Rates of injury <clears throat> and illness in Freeside are very high. Supplies don't last long. Yeah. Yeah, I figured with all the fucking thugs and junkies always attacking me with pool cues, I imagine injury rates are quite high. Uh, what do you need? Medex, Radaway, and Fixer are Freeside essentials. I can't pay you for any supplies you bring in, um, but I could discount the charge for our services. Well, seems like you need a steady supply, not just whatever I can grab for you. So far, the Crimson Caravan won't cut us a deal. If you can convince them or some other merchant to work with us, I'll discount supplies to you. Great. Uh, which merchants would be willing to make a deal? You might ask around at Mick and Ralph's, or go see the Garretts. Though I suspect they're too busy poisoning Freeside to help it out. You'd be surprised. You got yourself a deal. Just come see me when you've got some supplies to turn in. Okay, let's talk about what something do you else. Want to talk um, let's talk about the NCR soldiers in Freeside. Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? The King thinks those troops have been attacking locals. I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside, though she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Right. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Um, what about if I wanted to make things chill in Freeside? The big man around here is the king. Not much happens in Freeside that he doesn't know about. He has the most influence locally, and some of his crew haven't helped the situation by harassing NCR citizens and charging double for water. Some NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside locals. I've tried to speak to both sides to no avail. Natch. Okay. Well, let's go. Fucking NCR, man. Right, let's go talk to Major uh, What's Her Face. Elizabeth, was it? <clears throat> that seems like a good lead. Talk to Major Elizabeth Kieran and mention Julie Farkas if she's reluctant to help. Oh, whoops. I appear to have clicked into the chat box when I really shouldn't be doing that. One sec. There we go. Right. I don't know which one's which. Uh, fuck. 
Oh, I, well, this is... This is, uh, what's her face? Elizabeth. Out to shop some uh, myself a little bit, but don't worry about me, my love. Thank you. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep going until I feel like stopping. Would I? Hey guys. Hold up. What's the password? There's a password. Shit. I'm in to see Major Kira on urgent business. Please let me pass. If you're here to see the major, then I suppose it's all right. Head on through. Well. That was easier than I thought it'd be. Here you go. I hope this helps. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, all these squatters got fucking they're having a rough time. What can you say? Alright, Kieran, let's talk. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please, have some. Why just the NCR? Do you serve food to locals as well? No, I'm afraid we don't. Don't you have a friend you wanted to bring in? Yes, but I was afraid he wouldn't get served. You were right. But here, take another helping for your friend. <clears throat> It'll be our secret. That's nothing, though. Yes? Uh. Was there something else you needed? Uh, look. Why don't you serve locals? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Mm. Let's just say we have our reasons. The reason being that you're a fucking military organization that is being petty. <laughs> Julie Farkas told me to ask. She said it was important. You know Julie? Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers, but they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. I if see. you really want to know, <clears throat> we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. And the king refused? In a manner of speaking. Our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed oh. to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now, there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. I see. I, f I forgot about that. Yeah, so... Yeah, so what happened there, if I remember correctly, is the king didn't actually get to meet that envoy. Um, they were intercepted by, I think it was Peso. Who doesn't like the NCR and just kick the shit out of the envoy? Because um, he just wants them gone no matter what. Um, so that's why there's all this bad blood. Which is a damn shame. They could work together. They could. I know my health is low, but I'm not wasting a stim pack when I'm not even fighting. Also, let's F5 again. Do a quick save. Spur, Laser, jingle, splash, jangle, jingle, 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 jingle. Oh, jeez. Hey, King. What's up? You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Right. Well, here's the thing. The NCO is distributing supplies in a building down by the old train station. Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Yeah. Uh, they refuse to serve locals. Ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. They said someone was sent to discuss the issue with you, though. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They said what? They said the man was severely beaten and barely survived. Huh. That would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstanding. What the hell? Uh-oh. King, we've got problems. Play it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. <clears throat> Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. Great. Hi. Right, head to the train station in Northeast Freeside and try to negotiate with the NCR. This shouldn't be too hard. Because I know what the fuck's going on now. Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got it all at this point. Ugh, the silver rush. The Van Graff's massive pieces of shit, those lot. Oh, hey, Bill Ronte. Bye.
Yeah, it's all fucking kicking off. Here we go. Not ideal. Oh, shit. Hey, dead king. I'll take that. Okay. Give me that. I'll take a jailhouse rocker look, too. That sounds exquisite. I'm not here to fuck with anyone, okay? I need to talk to people. Thanks. Hey, Elizabeth, look. This isn't really a good time. What did you want? Look, the king wants to uh, the king wants to help with the relief effort. Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. That wasn't him. He didn't even know the envoy was sent. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Good idea. Right. Return to the king and let him know the situation with the NCR has been defused. Oh look, another one. 10 millimeter pistol. Yeah, no. Jailhouse rocker. Fuck yeah, dude. Now that's a chill look. What does jailhouse rocker give me? Plus one to charisma. Not bad. Not bad. Oh god. I look like fucking Dwight. I look like Dwight DVD. Hey sir, is that you? Oh, you fucking coward. Let's get more of this stuff, shall we? I mean, this is what you guys- what do you guys expect? You're taking on a military outfit with what? You fucking little Elvis Presley cosplay and 10 millimeter submachine guns? I mean, it's just never was gonna work, was it? Hey, Pesa. The king just sent a messenger over, saying these guys are off limits. Yep. He's probably already heard about what Can you, you did get here. up? Looks like you get to be a hero. Enjoy while it lasts. I will, thank you. Look at me. The fucking... Look at this look. This fucking owns, actually. This is honestly a pretty fucking chill get up. Let's put that away. <clears throat> Blue moon and it. Alright. Alright, King, I figured it out. I, I solved the problem. I did a good job. Everyone's really proud of me. Let's talk. Oops. Don't want to attack you with a knife. Also, let's save. There we go. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. <laughs> You've helped us plenty. Nice. So I'll tell you what. Just this once. Name whatever you want. If I can make it happen, it's done. Don't Dick. rush it, though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. From the from the king. Right. Uh, let's see what we're working with. So let's just, let's see. Um, I would like my melee weapons up some more. More damage is more good. More more damage is more happy. Whoa. Um. I want to get my science up, actually. I like using terminals more than I like lockpicking. So let's do that. Oh, do I get two levels? Fuck yes, dude. Okay. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I got one more point. I can just chuck anywhere. There we go. Fuck it. And... With the educated perk, you gain two more skill points with every time you advance a level. This perk is best taken early on to maximize its effectiveness. Uh, comprehension, you gain double the bonuses from reading magazines and one additional skill point from books. Cannibal, eh, swift learner. I don't really want another one of that. It's kind of wasteful. Retention, the bonuses granted by skill magazines last three times as long. Let's do, let's do Black Widow. There we go. All right, Things King. have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? Okay, what can you tell me about Pesa? Pesa? <clears throat> he and I grew up together around here. We've been through a lot together. There's no man I'd rather have at my side in a pinch. Don't judge him too harshly for trying to get some caps out of you. He probably took you for a squatter, looking for a place to settle down. There have been a lot of people moving into the area lately. And it's got some people riled. Can't blame them myself. 
There's only so much to go around. Uh huh. Um, about Rex. What about him? Is there something wrong with him? He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him <sighs> checked out, and they said his brain is bad or something. Can they do anything? No. They said they don't have the tools to help him. Is he going to be okay? For now, but they said eventually he's going to get worse. Cool. I don't know what to do. Can I help somehow? I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you have better luck than I did. Okay. Um, as much as I would like to have Rex in my party, there's the little bit of a conundrum that is trying to get him past Cazador's in hardcore mode <laughs> and have him survive the journey. Um, so about this favor you owe me. Ask away. Right, I want to join the kings. Can you get me into the strip? I could really use some money or something else. Uh, let's talk about something else. Let's not rush into this. Oh, he's such a good dog. Look at him. I love Rex. He's very good. He's Rex, the rock and dog. Uh, let's look at our quests. Nothing but a hound dog. We can do this quest, I suppose. Come to the Silver Rush for all your energy weapon needs. Da -da 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 -da. Hey. You seen Dixon around? He said he'd be back today. Jesus Christ. Julie Farker sent me to help you sober up. Julie? Oh, I love Julie. She's such a nice lady. Uh-huh. One time I was working on the water pump and she came over, put her hand on my shoulder and told me I was doing a great job. <laughs> great job, she says. I just choked up and didn't say nothing. Oh. Compliments are so rare these days. Why don't you stop drinking? Drop drinking? <laughs> I've been drinking for a straight month. <laughs> Listen, I I've tried to stop, but the withdrawal symptoms are so bad, I feel like I'm going to die. I, I can't stop now. How can you afford so much alcohol? Dixon sells me booze dirt cheap. It does the job, but it tastes like paint thinner, and I feel like I'm going <laughs> to die if I stop drinking for a day. <clears throat> Jesus I swear Christ. that guy's trying to kill me. But what can I do? Drinking other booze doesn't cure the sickness like his. All right, well, goodbye. Uh, take care of the drug dealer. I mean, <laughs> I wonder if someone just took, saw that quest notification and was like, okay, kill Dixon, like, not the best idea. Hungry? Thirsty? Horny? Typically, you can't just expect someone who's that deeply addicted to go cold turkey. It's it's pretty bad. Withdrawals are no joke. Let's do another quick save. And there's. You're not the guy I'm looking for. No, you're just called Vagrant. Um, there's another down and out we need to speak to. There we go. Hey! You have chems, buddy? I could really use a fix. What's with the receding hairlines? Look, uh... Julie Farker said you could use some help. Julie's a saint, but I don't need help. I feel young and strong. As long as I get my chems. You look pretty bad. You should probably stop using chems. Why stop? I feel great. No, you don't. No worries. My guy will be here soon enough. Just wait. Who's supplying you? If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. My damn hands won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. Something about him seems sketchy, <laughs> but I can't stop now. Last time I stopped, I felt like I was going to turn inside out. At this point, I'm mostly buying his stuff just so I don't feel sick. Speaking of which, do you have any spare caps? Jesus Christ. Bye. So yeah, Dixon's got these guys into like a fucking spiral of addiction that can't seem to be broken. So let's talk to him and maybe try and fix that. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. You look like shit. Also, do you know anything about Bill or Jacob? Yeah, man. Those cats are out of their domes addicted to my shit. They can't get enough. Pretty hilarious to watch. Look, I need you to stop. Are you trying to kill them? Those fools are from NCR. I love seeing those squatters in agony. 
We were doing just fine before those shits came here and made a mess of things. <clears throat> we don't need NCR eggheads wandering around confusing things. Like, I need you to stop. Really? Ah, oh, you're such a saint. You know what? I might be willing to stop if there's something in it for me. Natch, look, speech. So the NCR supplying you with cheap chems to keep Freeside down? Wait, man. You can't go around saying shit like that. Okay, I get your point. You won't have to worry about me supplying those two anymore. Yeah. Bye. Yep. Well, that's that dealt with. Hey, buddy, bad news. No drugs for you. So you're back. Got any chems for me yet? No, I took care of that dealer. Now you can clean up. What? I need a fix now. I want to help you get well, Jacob. Fine. If you really care so much, then give me some shots of fixer to calm down these shakes. I'm going to need at least ten shots. Jesus Christ. Break. From there, the followers should be able to help. Oh, man. Okay. Ten doses of fixer? Jesus Christ. That's a lot of fixer. Let's go talk to Bill. Ten shots of fixer. That's crazy. That's a lot. Surely no one needs that much fixer. I'm just going to keep hitting quick save now. I'm trying to remember to do that anyway. It's too scary to bought, think about losing progress now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mika Ralph's, they're really cool. And he has a katana. I want to go buy it. Need money first. I love the Atomic Wrangler. Yay. Right, Bill. Damn, Pacer, you're still here? It's taking you so long. Right, hey. Come on, man, I'm dying here. No, you're not. Anyway. Uh... Yeah, let's just berate him. Look, you won't be seeing Dixon anymore. What the hell? Why? I need alcohol, man. I'm gonna die if I don't get a drink. No, you're not. You need to kick the habit, Bill. I can help. The only way you can help me now is a load of detox chems. What do you need? At least a couple of doses of Fixer, a bottle of whiskey, and Radaway. Radaway? I can take doses of Fixer and Radaway to gradually flush my system over time while drinking decreasing shots of diluted whiskey. Jesus Christ. This shit better be worth it, man. I don't know if that will be right now. Draw could kill me if I don't get him soon. Bye. <laughs> oh god damn it! God fucking damn it! Okay. Well, maybe we can sell some of this shit that we don't need anymore. Well, that we never needed, to be fair. We don't use guns. Guns are for the weak. We've got stuff we're not even allowed, allowed to, sell, to sell, people. people. Only, Only at Mick, Mick and Ralph's. Ralph's. They could have given them maybe a couple more voice lines. If I can get maybe a programmer's digest, I should have enough science to do both of their speech checks. I think. I think. Or something that can... Do I have anything that can boost int? No. Okay. Ralph. Hey. Hey. Pimping ain't <clears throat> easy, huh? Maybe if you find some decent talent, I'll start visiting the Wrangler more often. <laughs> Do you know where I happen to find a sex bot? <laughs> Are you some kind of machine fetishist or something? Not me. The Garrett's looking to satisfy certain customers. <laughs> well, the only place I know of locally would be Cerulean Robotics. That place has been overrun by vermin for years. I cleared it out. If you want to check the place out, you can find it on the west side of Freeside. The entrance is on the back side of the building. You have nothing Just for watch me? Watch out for thugs. The rats aren't the only vermin you need to worry about. Is there a holotape or anything I'll need for the sex spot? Well, I don't know of any, but if you give me a few days and some caps, I think I could probably make one on my terminal. Oh, shit, really? Uh... Yeah, good to know. I might have to make one later if I can't get it myself. Just stop back and see me if you need one made. Anything else I can help you with? Uh, right. Bye for now. <clears throat> Mick. Feels. Welcome hey. back. God, look at those glowing eyes. 
let's look at what you got for sale again. Oh man, I lost even more money. God damn. 10 mm submachine gun. Whoa. Okay. Let me see that katana real quick. Yeah, katana time. All right. Now the game's getting good. Uh, he's also fucking broke though, so it's not going to get much more out of him, to be honest. Knife, lead pipe, police baton, spike nuts, switchblade. There we go. Thanks. Thank you. Fuck yes. Welcome back. Right, uh, the fellow is looking out to work out a supply deal. Are they looking to buy guns? No. Then talk to my partner, Ralph. Fine. <laughs> Alright, Ralph. Hey, what can I get you? Sorry for standing on your counter. Um, the fellow is looking to set up a supply deal. We don't have the stills and equipment to supply the amount of meds they're looking to purchase. Yeah, you shoot. can check with other wasteland merchants, but I think your best bet would be the Atomic Wrangler. Right. He's got a bunch of stills and a seemingly endless supply of grain alcohol, which could be used as anesthetic or disinfectant. Right. Okay. Thanks for your time. Fuck yeah. Wait. Why am I not two-handing it? It's a katana. Goddamn. Ah, oh, well. Okay. Let's look at what quest we have available. We're still no closer to figuring that out either. <clears throat> oh, hang on. Oh, shit. I meant to ask about a programmer's digest, goddamn. Fucking sick. I love my katana. I love my fucking Elder Scrolls Oblivion katana. God, it looks like such a piece of shit. Alright. Uh, whoa, Jesus Christ. You move so quickly that even in the fucking black screen, you like hop hey, across the room. Can I get you? Right, have you got... Show me what you got for stock. And then we're gonna look at aid, and then we're gonna see, have you got Programmer's Digest, Science Plus 10, fantastic. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for stopping in. Thank you. Okay. Uh, exit. Right. Hopefully, I can make this last long enough that I can get both. So you're back. Uh, listen, science fifty. A combination of fixer, jet, sorry, a fixer, psycho, and buff out would do it in one shot. Never thought about using that combination before. <laughs> Should be able to get through this with that. I've got the detox chems that you need. Thank God. I thought I was gonna die if you didn't come back so I'm gonna head to the follower sport to get some rest and detox. You've saved my life, friend. You're welcome, buddy. Okay. Free side fame gained. Nice. Can I check if that's done anything yet? Uh what? Uh oh. Quests. No. Stats. General. Reputation. Uh, yeah, that's a bug with the mods. That's just, that's a fucking cry and shame, because I would love to see more of, like, how I'm doing with each faction, but I guess not. I guess it's fine. <clears throat> Alright, see if we can get to Bill Ronte before that programmer's digest runs out. <coughs> Get that squared away. Make a brief stop at the Atomic Wrangler, where the booze is cheaper, the taste is more <laughs> The Atomic Wrangler's a fucking shithole, man. Bill Ronte! Come on, man, I'm dying. I'm sure you are. Look, science. Regulating decreases doses of booze with a couple shots of fixer should do it. Man, you're one hell of an egghead. If you think it'll work, I'll give it a shot. Great. Well, bye. See ya. Two doses of fixer and a bottle of whiskey. Well, I've got a bottle of whiskey, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Let's go get some fixer. 
And we're going past the Atomic Wrangler, so let's get that squared away too. Pretty sure these guys can't help the... Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? Err... Uh... Do you have any work you need done? I have some work I need handled. <coughs> Before we instituted the caps up front rule, we used to allow customers tabs. Well, needless to say, a few customers snuck out without paying their bills. We need someone to collect. The job would pay a percentage. Okay. Uh, that sounds... What kind of caps are we talking here? If you bring all their debts back, we'll give you a cut of each. 25% is more than fair. It would add up to 150 caps if you bring them all in. Right. My kind of work costs my time and money, so 50-50 would cover my expenses. Alright. 50-50 it is. But you better bring back all of the caps. I will. If we hear you crossed us, the next bounty hunter will be coming for you. Natch. Okay. Well, you got yourself a deal. Great. There are three people who need to be tracked down. A real mixed basket of fruits. Their names are Grex, Santiago, and Lady Jane. Grex is a nice name. Tell me about Grex. Grex is a bit cracked, but mostly harmless. <laughs> Just don't mention anything about his lazy eye. He owes 138 caps and should still be around Freeside. Okay. Lady Jane? Lady Jane fancies herself a high roller, but she's just another dirtbag NCR prospector. I'm not sure where to find her. I hear she's run goods for the followers of the apocalypse in the past, but other locals might know more. She owes us 250 caps. Okay, and Santiago? Santiago <clears throat> is a suave son of a bitch, but a total pansy when it comes to fisticuffs. He owes 212 caps and should be around Freeside as well. Great, well that's all for now. Anything else you need? The followers are looking to trade for supplies. Interesting. <clears throat> Well, you're going to need to speak with my brother, James. Okay. He handles all of the trading contracts and general operations. Very well. Where's James? And there's programmers. Oh, God. They all sat down at the same time. I thought they were doing like a weird little jig. That's awful. All right, where's James? <laughs> what? Where's James? Keep moving. James? Oh, am I not allowed back here? No, I guess not. Oh. You better get out of here if you know what's good for you. All right, all right, already I'm going. Where's James? I need to speak to him. Oh dear. Oh shit. Well, I'm not getting in there. But I don't really want to wait. Again, the hardcore mode makes waiting a very unappealing uh, prospect. Whoops. Shouldn't have opened that door. Hey, where's where's Beatrix? Is she around? Hey there. Hey. Whoa, baby. Am I looking at a mirror? Or are you just that ugly? Man, fuck you. Watch your mouth cool if I just rip your jaw off. <laughs> Why the hostility? Come on, stay in character. You're supposed to be heckling me. Why bother? You're embarrassing yourself enough as it is. Hey, <clears throat> not bad. Your timing's terrible and you got no style. But you might make it as a professional heckler. Thanks, but that's not why I'm here. What? You mean you're not part of the act? Huh. Sorry. Thought you were the heckler Garrett hired to spice up the shows. Uh, so you perform stand-up comedy, huh? <laughs> Yeesh, is my act that bad? Or are you just that dumb? Yeah, that's right. Okay, well, judging from the economic state of Freeside, they really can't be paying you that much. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rowing in caps here. But what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. Okay, well, bye. Yeah, go on. Scram. Fucking Krusty the Clown acting looking ass. Oh, hey. Cashier. Oh, that's for like, that's for chips, which is useless to me at the moment. Oh, gotta go. Can't be here. Gotta go. Oh no. Uh, James is nowhere to be seen. He's probably in a locked room, so I'm gonna have to fucking leave that, that idea behind for a sec. Okay. What quests have I got on? 
the debt collector. Alright, let's do this then. Also, Santiago is a smooth talker we could get for the boyfriend experience uh, escort. Which would be good. Get that all squared away. So it's so very far from wrong. Wait, is he hanging out with old Ben? They're just in the same bit? Weird. I think I would have spotted him then. Oh no, that's Lady Jane. Hey. Hello. Lovely to meet you. I was hired by the Garrets to track you down. In that case, I suppose <clears throat> you're here to collect. I apologize. But I simply do not have enough caps on me to cover the debt. It's always if the way, isn't it? If to recover my caravan from that cave, I could easily pay in full. But who would bother with such a mess? What cave? <laughs> Jane, I can tell you're lying through your teeth. Damn. I didn't want to hand over all of my caps because I won't have enough to get home to California. Here, take it all. I'll find my way home one way or another. Yeah. Well... That was pretty easy. Thank God for high perception. Let's go round up the rest of the debt, I suppose. <clears throat> da -da, da -da, da -da. That fucking licensed music mod is not doing anything, huh? <laughs> it can be found it. All right. Else. Uh, we'll go to the Mormon Fort first. We're just walking all up and down Freeside, huh? A lot of business to be done here. It's a very busy part of town. Don't know what to tell you. All right. Oh, what? Where? Morning. Who am I looking for? Oh, hey, J Julie. Can I help you? Right, uh, the king said you could tell me more about his robotic dog. Rex? It breaks my heart every time I see him. He's such a good dog. The king brought him here for treatment? Yes, a few months ago. We had to tell him there was nothing we could do. So you can't heal him? No, Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work, too. Is there anyone who could do all that? There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Last I heard, he was living up in Jacobstown, far to the northwest. Thank you. You've been very helpful. No problem. Okay. Uh, anything else? No? Okay. Bye. Morning. Follow his guard. Huh. Deck collector. Where's this Grax I heard about? Oh, hi, Dizzy. Good to see you. A moony lem to you, too. Man, I don't know why they're taking forever to approve my latest emote. I don't know when that's going to happen. I'd like to see it. I'd like to see it get done. Hey, do you know who the Hello. fuck Grex is? Where's Grex? Gambler. Followers God. Where's Grex? Grex? You're not Grex. Grex? Grex? That's not Grex. Y'all heard of Grex? Hey, Beatrix. Howdy. Uh, I have some questions. And I may have answers. May? No, you don't know anything about a Grex, do you? <clears throat> Gambler, Ferris, Wayne, Roy, Hello. no Grex, Sono Grex, oh maybe in this tower over here, maybe, I'm gonna save real quick cause it's been a while, no Grex, what, what's the deal with Grex? It told me to come here. I'm not crazy. Hello there. <laughs> God, I love Beatrix. She's so good. Oh, for God's sake. Alright. Never mind. 
No Grex. Oh, never mind. I am crazy. This isn't where I was meant to go at all. Oh, well. Hee <laughs> hee. Can I slip around the back? No, can't. Let's do another quick save. Oh, God. Well, I need a fucking free side thug to attack me. I want to try out my new fucking katana. And I don't just want to attack random passerby. It would be funny, yeah. though, wouldn't it? Need something? No. Oh, this is where Santiago is. I remember. Wait a second. No, you're Grex. Hey, man. Oh, God. Can you spare a few caps? Oh, that mod's doing its work. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> there you go. Punch Grex in the face. Yeah, sheesh. You are one ugly son of a bitch. What? Thank you, Mrs. Obvious. Haven't heard that in a while. Oh, I'm making you... Yeah, and your eye. That shit is hilarious. <laughs> That's so mean. I don't want to make Grex experience a microaggression, but Jesus, he looks like shit. Never mind. You're the Garrett's a load of caps. Oh, <clears throat> crap. I was hoping they'd forget about my tab. Look, I've got the caps right here. Just don't hurt me. You don't cheat the Garrett's and walk away. Cuff up the rest or you're a rat bait. Okay. Here. That's everything I've got except the clothes on my back. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> you cheap ass zombie, you need to pay my extra fee? That'll do. Mess with the Garrett's again and you're dead. I won't. Thanks for not killing me. Oh, I'm a nasty lady. Uh, yeah, that mod doing its work. Actually remodeling faces and shit. I'm almost certain that was never in the original. I could be wrong, though. Right, last deadbeat to go and fucking cut to pieces. Santiago. Where are you? You're on the other side of this building. Here you are. Hey, Santi. How are you today? Santiago is fabulous. Oh, is he? Well, you are the Garrett's a bunch of caps. Santiago does not owe anyone. Santiago is a freeside VIP. Uh. Santiago is dead if he doesn't cough up what he owes the Garrett's. Sir, Santiago does not know what he has done to a <coughs> fan, but he can explain everything. I'm sure he can. Pay up. Punch him again? Yeah, let's just punch him. It'll be funny. Punch Santiago in the face. I won't ask again. Ow! Okay, here. Take the caps. Just don't hurt Santiago again. Natch. Anyway, he's look. Uh, speaking of the Garrett's, <laughs> they're looking for a suave escort. Interested in some work? I am honored they would consider me. I'll start immediately. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now I just punch you in the face. Do you want to go and suck and fuck for the guys I just collected for? <laughs> All right. Well, that's two. Well, no, it's not two missions wrapped up because we also got to get the sex robot. And we can't get fist though because our, uh, our science isn't high enough, sadly. But maybe this will give us the experience we need to get an extra level. Get that science up above 50 and then we can go get fist though. Come to Mick and Ralph. That would be good. Ah. Jesus. <laughs> Hungry? Thirsty? Horny? The Atomic Wrangler had to... All right. In we go. The Atomic Wrangler. Where's James? Oh, God damn it! Welcome back. What can I get you? Uh, hey, here's all the debts. I don't care how you handled those lumps of human refuse, but you got the job done. We need you to hunt down another person. Go on. That son of a bitch McCaffrey stole a ton of caps and ran off to Vegas. I guess the fact that we farmed out his usual work to you pissed him off. No one steals from the Garrett twins. If you can kill that bastard and bring oh. back as much as you can, you'll be paid very well. Explicitly kill him, huh? Uh, how do I get to the strip? See the king. I'm sure he could work something out to get you in. You'll need to prove your worth his time, but it'll be well worth it. Oh, I was hoping you'd have a way for me to get in without doing that. Okay. If I see McCaffrey on the strip, I'll be sure to take care of him. Good. Just stop him <clears> back <throat> when he's dead and you'll be rewarded handsomely. 
bring his hat as proof of the kill. All right. Bye. And James is still nowhere to be seen, so fuck. And I guess I'll go get that pass from the king so I can go into the strip and get that sorted here. Come to the Oh god. <laughs> right, yeah, let's go see the king. Get our get our pass. Hey. What can the king do for you? The king? Uh can get me a pass onto the strip. Sure can. I have a friend who has just what you're looking for. Has a shop over yonder by the east gate named Mick and Ralph's. Just tell Ralph that I sent you, and he'll get you squared away. Fantastic. What's up? I can't remember how many caps you actually get off the king if you ask for money. I think it's like 5,000 or something. It's okay. It's not amazing. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell. Oh, people. Jesus Christ. Only at Mick and Ralph's. Only at Mick and Ralph's. Can we please get another free side thug to attack me so I can try out this fucking katana already? Well, maybe McCaffrey will be uh, a good test of my blade. I can hone my precious Yamato. Howdy. Hey. Man, Jacob's absinthe is phenomenal stuff. I don't think I've slept this well in ages. If you haven't tried it yet, he's been supplying the Wrangler with the stuff. So, what can I get you? Um... The king said you can set me up with a pass. One of his boys stopped in and said you had won the king's favor. You've done right by this town and deserve a pass. Here you go. He is faded as fuck. See? He's literally drinking absinthe in the middle of the fucking day. Mick, how can it be going so badly for you, bestie? I wouldn't even drink absinthe at night. <laughs> me. Right, let's go get this McCaffrey. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all Give him that fucking judgment cut. Devil may cry, New Vegas. Let's go. Dun, dun, why don't you do it right, huh? Like some other men do. Is that a king? Oh shit! How'd a king get fucking got? Give me some money too. <clears throat> All right, let's get into the strip. Me and the boys used to hang out at a coffee shop called Poopies up on the strip. Hey, beep boop. Submit to a credit check or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Credit check. Do I have 2,000 caps? Eh. <laughs> Robot, let me pass. No, I've got a passport, buddy. Thank you, madam. You may proceed. Uh, maybe if I was a little stronger, I could fucking fuck up these cop robots, but I guess not. F5. Oh, wow. That's new. Howdy, partner. Oh, you. Welcome to New Vegas. Technically, I've not met you yet, but, uh, what are you doing here? Consider me your personal welcome, wife. Now, hear this. The head honcho of New Vegas, Mr. House, is itching to make your acquaintance. Just head for the Lucky 38. It's the big old tower shaped like a roulette spinner. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. One sec. Stupid fucking Twitch chat. There we go. Um, alright, I'll go there straight off. Yeah, partner. That's the spirit. He'll be waiting for you. Great. Man, this place is great. Oh, look at that! Gonna have words with your commanding officer after this. Why do they call it a monorail? It's a train. A train. <laughs> Man, this is great. Hey there, friend. A bit of advice. 
You look like you could use some protection. Lucky for you, I got what you need. My stock and trade? <laughs> all kinds of easy to hide weapons for slipping into and out of casinos. They won't give you a second glance. Right. Uh, why would I need to hide a weapon on me? Simple. You can't bring guns into the casino, that's why. They'll strip you to your fist. Sure, they say you get it all back when you leave. Me? I don't like being without a little insurance when it's my caps on the table. Right. Eh, uh, maybe some other time. Suit yourself. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, well, we can go see Mr. House if we go want. Ahead, but that's not why we're here. Hey. Huh, so the Garrett sent you to track me down. What a joke. Look. <sighs> Give me a share of the caps and your hat and you can go free. Or oh, I'm here to collect. Do I like my... I just thought I'd say Piss hi. Off. <laughs> oh shit! That was a quick load, not a quick save. Oopsies! Had it, partner. Fuck's sake! That's it. Keep moving. Whoopsies! Right, quick save. Not that it matters, because if I die, I don't get to play this character anymore. <laughs> um, fuck! I don't know, man. It's rough. Stimpaks. Hey. So the Garrett sent you to track me down. All right, let's do this. Rather not waste the. Hey. Ooh, that was a tough first hit. Do I have any buff out? Do I have psycho? Do I have any drugs? Nope. Come on. Oh fuck! Oh, disarm him, please. Yes. I'm here. Yes. Yes. No chance. And by no chance, I mean he almost got me. <laughs> okay, slugs. Let's just take it all. Um, Bounty Hunter Duster? Yes, please. Oh, shit. No, thanks. No. How's that for a fucking sweet look? Great. Okay. Well, how am I for stats? Radiations, yeah, it's not too bad yet. H2O, food, and sleep are all quite high. I should definitely eat something then. Let's have some squirrel stew. Might give me a little bit of health back too. Hey there, friend. Oh, fuck off. Not interested. Some other time. How did he talk to me from there? That's crazy. Oh, also, that didn't really do much for my health. Err, uh, dirty water? Do I have any more of that? Sip some of that. A little quickie sippy. I need to sleep, too. I need to find a place to rest. I think after I go to sleep, maybe I'll call it a stream. I think this has been pretty successful. Um, we've had some close strokes, some... some some very, very close uh, brushes with death, but all things considered, considering we, uh, we've we already died twice in this stream, it looks like it's getting better for us. Right. Welcome back. What can I get you? Is that asshole's hat? Yes. Where's his hat? Right here. This is great news. No one screws with the <laughs> Garrett twins and gets away with it. I need to find a place on the wall for this. And for your reward, here's 150 caps. I trust there were nice. also some valuables on the Caffrey. <clears throat> also, we would like to set you up with a room. Fantastic. You can have the corner room, rent free. It was McCaffrey's. Now that he's dead, we're happy to let you use it. Thanks for helping us. Fantastic. Glad to help. Okay, well, bye. Oh, level up. Yep. Accepted! A Right, we established a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland. Whether that reputation is good or bad, you're finally somebody. And people associated with that group will start to react to what you've done. There are many different factions in the wasteland. blah de blah de blah 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 Accepted. Pog. Uh, miscellaneous? No, it's under stats general... Still no... Oh, no, no, there we go. So I'm accepted in freeside. That's pretty cool. 
Now, let's finish getting science to 50, and then... Uh, let's bump medicine just a touch. There we go. All right, James. Hey, chum. Welcome back. Uh, the followers need someone to trade supplies with. Really now, this is news. We could possibly supply what they need, but they would need to supply us in kind. They have the tech know-how to make our stills work more efficiently. Cure alcohol means we can get our customers drunk quicker. Uh -huh. Getting our customers drunk quicker means more caps spent at the tables and stuffing slots, if you know what I mean. Dutch. Plus, the extra alcohol can serve as surgical disinfectant for their needs. The followers are a good lot. They've stitched up our boys in the past. Okay. I might be able to work something out. Good. <coughs> we can supply them with all the medics they need. For the fixer, we'll only be able to send over some basic drug components. Okay. We're not in the business of getting people off drugs, so we don't really dabble in that side of things. The followers should be able to whip some up with what we have available, though. Right. They just need to agree to fix up our stills and keep them maintained, plus cover the cost for raw materials needed to make the alcohol. Okay. I found you a smooth talker. And who would that be? Santiago. That honey mouthed son of a bitch? Fine. At least left to shut up occasionally. Those pretty lips of his are gonna see more traffic <laughs> than a Brahmin trail in low summer. Jesus fucking Christ. Um <laughs> Like I actually found you an escort who's a ghoul and a cowboy. Imagine that. What's his name and when's he start? Uh her name's Beatrix and she can start immediately. Is she, huh? Well, I guess the customer who made that request can't get everything he wants. No. Hell, who knows? He might not even notice the difference. Jesus. Okay. Well, bye. <laughs> Is this the corner room? Hello. No. Uh, nope, that's a bad throw. Where's my room? Where do I sleep? That's not mine. <laughs> F5. Oh, this must be it. Okay, well. We're doing okay. We've got a reputation in Freeside now. We can get onto the strip. Uh, we've got a fucking sweet ass katana. But I think we should sleep. And we should fucking, quite frankly... Let's sleep eight, eight hours. Um, count ourselves lucky that we're still alive. Let's sleep. There we go. You are now well rested. Um, I'm probably also a little thirsty. No, I'm okay. Okay. Let's save the game proper. New save. Okay, well. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. The fucking thing. Right. Thanks for hanging out, folks. Um, massively appreciate it, as always. Um, I'm really hoping that we don't die at the start of the next Fallout New Vegas stream. It's becoming a little bit of a fucking bad habit. But I think we're doing well enough that we can probably avoid that next time. Here's hoping. Um, I'm just going to pick a raid target and then... Um, Call it a day. I'm going to update the stream schedule also tonight. I'm not sure what I've got planned for next week, but... I mean, this it could, could be fun. So it could be something fun. Let's see if there's anyone else in the category, actually. Give me a sec. Let's have a quick looky-loo for other Fallout New Vegas streamers. Du -du 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 -du. Fallout New Vegas. Oh, there's a... There's a, there's a few VTubers in here. How about that? Alright. Well, that one seems fun. <laughs> I hope. Alright. I think that's it. Bink. Fantastic. Alright, guys. I will see you all probably tomorrow. Um, take it easy. Be lucky. Be healthy. Uh, live every moment, love every day. Bye now. <laughs>
There we go.